Winnipeg, Manitoba is about 8,000 kilometers from Sochi, Russia, and two teams would love to make the trip. Presenting your country, it's the ultimate dream. And tonight, four years of hard work comes down to a single game. There is the hometown favorite, Jennifer Jones. She was with just two wins at the trials in Edmonton. What a different story this time around. She has been the team to beat in round robin play. That crowd will be behind her tonight. Sherry Madaw, she has clawed her way here into this final. You see her third, Joanne Rizzo. What a performance in the semifinal, 91% from her. She'll need another great performance tonight. In the women's final, Jennifer Jones, Sherry Madaw, the winner, will represent Canada at the Olympics in Russia. Welcome back inside the MTS Center. Glad you're watching TSN. Brian Mudrick with you. Back in 2010, Jennifer Jones was in Vancouver as a reporter. Now she wants to go there as a player, and she certainly has the resume for Scotty's titles. So much experience on the world stage, a world championship. This is the one thing missing from the resume, and she will certainly be the team to beat. In the meantime, Sherry Madaw, such great percentages all week long. She was a master at managing her team. They didn't have a great start in round robin play. They had to come through that crucial tiebreaker, ended up making the semifinal and found they were here in the final tonight at the MTS Center. Sherry said she hoped they won some fans over this week, that they'd hear a few cheers. Regardless, we know it will be a very loud building with two of the best teams all week long in round robin play. It was a grind for Sherry Madaw. Jennifer Jones, six and one record. She was fantastic. Rachel Holman, Sherry Madaw, Chelsea Carey, all at four and three. And that meant there was one tiebreaker. It was Madaw versus Carey. And Sherry got the job done. And then she got the job done in the semifinal. Surprising Rachel Holman, 10 to four. And that sets up this crucial final. Winner take all with more. Vic Roder. Hello Canada, Linda Russell alongside as always. Uh, all the teams will talk about their preparation, what they have done in the uh, two, sometimes three years leading up to this event. I don't think there is or you'd be hard pressed to find a team that has done more what they hope will be the right things than Jennifer Jones. Now well, if you look at the results here, it has been proven they are the best in every category. Of course the record, we already know that shooting percentages, scoring, limiting scoring. I think they've been fantastic. Now they have big game experience, so that's not a worry. What is a worry is this building. If I was their coach, I'd be talking them to them about emotional control. When Jennifer walked out, she said, wow, even she hasn't experienced this in all of her Scotties. They have to be careful with that. Yeah, we saw that emotion on her face and that of Sherry Madaw as well. Now, no uh, disrespect, no emails, no tweets, please, from the Coldwater Curling Club. Uh, but if you were to handicap this field, certainly Sherry Madal wouldn't have been your pick to be in this final, particularly with a one and three start. Absolutely, Beck. You know, start the car, book your flight, you're out of here, but not Sherry Madal. Five straight sudden death victories. No more impressive than yesterday in the uh, semifinal against the great Rachel Holman, the Canadian champion. Knocked them off easily. And you know, when you really think about it, it's the best team Sherry's ever had. It's the best prepared she's ever been. It's the best she's ever curled. But to play all those great shots yesterday has to be giving her the momentum for this game. 
you got the two, two Lees at the lead, Lee Armstrong, Lee Merklinger. Same as we had this today with John Morris's front end. That is that a key for you, that front end for Terry Madonna? Oh, it certainly is because you might have the best front end, arguably, that's ever played the game on the other side of the uh, ring. So they're going to have to play well to give Sherry a shot on all those ends. Well, you can see them trying to get the crowd on their side. No doubt most of them will be cheering for Jennifer Jones. It is the women's final. Next stop, Sochi. I get emotional just talking about the crowd. We had thought it was going to be absolutely incredible to come and play in Winnipeg in front of the hometown crowd, and it has far and exceeded our expectations. We get goosebumps every time we step on the ice. The crowd's been so fantastic, and we really can't wait to play one of the biggest games of our life in front of our hometown crowd. Lock it on! Don't Lock it on! Got to be down. shot, though. You got to can't prevent over curl. Well done! What a great shot that was. Absolutely amazing. It gives me chills and it just makes you want to play better and make more shots so the crowd can go nuts. Oh, what a lovely shot. Now that's an oh my. oh my. Just hearing the support of knowledgeable crowds is it's amazing. There's nothing like it. The 2013 Tim Hortons Roar of the Rings is brought to you by Tim Hortons. Always fresh, always great tasting coffee. not to focus on kind of the big picture, uh, especially when you're in this venue and you see the Olympic rings everywhere and it's talked about and, and the media is asking you questions, but I think with everyone's career kind of wrapping up, it would be a dream come true. Sherry Madon in the foreground, Jennifer Jones in the background. They will battle for the spot to wear the Maple Leaf in Sochi. It's time to meet the team now, brought to you by Ford. Brown partners with the Canadian Curling Association for 20 years. The Jones team from here in Winnipeg, the St. Vital Curling Club, and the familiar Don McEwen, Jill Officer, Caitlin Laws, Sherry Madon, her team from Coldwater and District Curling Club, northwest of Barrie, Ontario. Sherry Madon, the skip with Lee Armstrong, Lee Merklinger, and Joanne Rizzo. Jennifer Jones at 6 and 1. Madon 4 and 3 through round robin. So with Jones' better record, she gets the last rock. She gets the hammer. She got the choice of stones. She'll have the reds. And so she will have that last rock here in the first. And to get us going playing yellow stones, the Madon lead is Lee Armstrong. Mine's good. Breaking early. It will be interesting to see yep. if the building has any impact on this game. They have to be supporting Jennifer, I would yeah, think. They would be local people, and this is where she's from. But Lillian. even just the noise, no matter who it's for, it sometimes stirs you up. You have to remain cool, calm, and collected out there. Yeah, it would be easy to try to do something too spectacular to have the crowd cheer. And it's up to Mada to make sure it doesn't, they don't get that way. Keep them quiet. Not unusual to see that number one next I'm to good. Don McEwen. And Spicy it's a demanding style that Jennifer plays. So Don is asked to play a lot of different kinds of shots, guards, come arounds, freezes. Still have room. Okay. And she does it well. Still have room. No, then, no, you can't, Jill. Get off. Off. Heavy. Heavy. Heavy, 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 heavy. heavy. Okay, Don. Okay, so. And in she comes. So what are your thoughts here? This surprises me, this first stand right away. Well, Jennifer's trying a free. She's a little conservative in the first stand, but her best bet is to set up the deuces, put rocks in play, and Caitlin Laws, who was terrific in round robin, is the key. For Shari Madal, she was good at limiting steals and keeping some rocks out of play. That's important against Jennifer Jones. And Joanne Rizzo, when we talk about that matchup yesterday, was superb. The game plan is brought to you by World Financial Group, helping families have better financial futures. You know, I understand. I really expected a hit, and we go one for one and go right through this. But for her to want to come down and play a freeze, doesn't that surprise you a little bit? Uh, yeah, a little bit. I've seen Jennifer do even more than that. It was more of a yellow light situation. Uh, the green light would be the corner guard. And uh, you've seen even the men's teams hit in this situation with such a... A carrot at the end of the rainbow here, so uh, okay, they're feeling each other out here. Ooh, this one's hanging. 
that may okay. be just a sign and uh, you point out the nerves here. Maybe there's more pressure on the Jones team because that's two stones that are a little heavy out of the hand of Don McEwen. Take a picture of that because Don wouldn't do that twice in a season to uh, maybe make a half shot or a three quarter shot and then a complete whiff. If you don't have nerves, you shouldn't be out here. They're, they all have to be a little uptight right now until you until you make a good draw and they sit and roll. You, uh, the butterflies are going to be there. But if we do, do talk about expectation, the expectation is that Jennifer Jones will be good out here if not win. At least they'll perform their best because people are used to seeing that in the final. So that does put a little bit more pressure, not unlike Kevin Martin playing John Morris. Kevin had a lot of pressure on him to be the best. He's been to so many Olympics, three of them. Get on that. 94. Can we try to go that way or do you want to just do this? That or make that double. Yeah, actually, I don't mind that. Were you talking about the guard? Or, or, or the guard. Sorry, I meant. The but. guard and the. Yeah, that one. I, that's what I said. We can go across the top. Firm? Do you like that better? I think she's talking about the guard and the one on this side in the house. Yeah? What? Okay. I like either one. Either Nine. One. Smarter call, I think, Sorry, uh, thrown up by uh, Caitlin, because if you, the guard's the one that's hurting them. Then there's a double if you miss it. And if you get the back one, it's a bonus, and you do roll over. If you play the straight back and get the top two, you're guarding the shot rock. This makes the most sense if it's made. And with one of the very uh, best in the women's game at uh, throwing an up weight and right off. Jill Officer. Right off. Close. Roll it. Roll it, Don. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And Good. rolls it nice, by. And then... Uh, Rolls the shooter over to cover the edge of the eight foot. Yeah, certainly no tighter. A little higher up is good, but that was I think was a it will be spot. interesting to see how Jennifer responds to the ice. We have talked today yep. and even right. yesterday about the fact that there are patches that are a little straighter. If you go wide with draws, it will curl. There'll be a spot in the mid eight foot that's a little straighter. Up that goes straighter. Three. So okay, Jennifer has to be very go. careful no, that she's good. in tune with that. She has sat for almost mine's two days good. without playing on this ice. It's so true. The advantage goes to Sherry Madaw here on this sheet. She's played it way more no, than Jennifer has. Three. three. Yeah, no, over and off. Over Coming down now? Yeah, over Same spot. It's going to be short. Much. Just short. Good? No, we're good. Very nicely. Oh, no, Murky. That was a better lineup for Jill to I throw still. a bullet down here and get about two thirds of the top rock onto half of the second one, maybe even get the third. You'd love to get the shot rock moved away from that forefoot area. Yep. Look at this uh, crowd. Whoa, whoa, a little whoa. Uh, whoa. stunned, I think, with this start. Whoa. And she's going to get there. One more turn. One more. Get them all. I really like the shot. As you said, Russ, a great call, but she didn't also throw it very hard. Sometimes Jill tends to overthrow, and you don't get that final finish. Got it that time. And well, uh, good good yelling there at the end. Yes, that too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No more. I said Sherry right. Middle has to be careful about Jennifer Jones, a powerful Sorry, scoring machine. So there's the indication Sherry's not going to play along. If it starts to go poorly, there's the bailout. She peels off the guard. What a great triple. These rocks are so lively. We've talked about it all week, but they're, they're new rocks. The running bands are new. They're still circular. They're not indented from crashing into each other over the years. And, the spin you get in the uh, reaction is unbelievable. What, as you said, smart not to overthrow that triple. Move in, key line. Nice Everyone chance there. for Caitlin to throw a draw. I really do think this matchup is fascinating. We know Caitlin's a great player. We've seen it many times. So it's, uh, third Joanne Rizzo for Sherry Madaw was so impressive yesterday in the tiebreaker and the semifinal. I really expect that to continue today. Caitlin's Good one of the guys. best that's ever played at this position. Uh, Jennifer made a team change uh, four years ago for this day, for this game right here. And uh, Caitlin will be tough to beat in a big situation like this.
Thanks. Yep. Nice throws, Joe. I knew Thanks. I would come up there. Fresh pebble. Yeah. Well, you can see uh, Sherry's not abandoning ship. She's just going down the other end because it's such a wide open end. She's going to bank some of that Please. thinking time that they use in this game. Yep, yep. Gotta go. Hard. Right to it. Hard. 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 Right McEwen, an officer right on the brush. Roll. Good. Roll big. What was that, Jeff? Uh, Rolled it over to, towards that stone. Just outside the ring. So Nine something to think about. Sorry, just a little snug. It's the best I've ever seen Sherry Madal, and I don't just mean those numbers. I mean her determination, her coolness, the way she's managed the team, the game she's called. I'm so impressed with her this week. Herklinger, Armstrong. Oh, and they held it for enough to avoid that jam. We talked earlier about the ice being a little bit dished in the Martin game, and Kevin can tell you what that spot does right there. He knows one in nine that overcurled, and uh, Sherry uh, has to be a little careful in that spot. It really goes. Just got to anticipate. That shot yeah. in nine will always in the back of the house. be remembered as the oh no shot. As when he released it, that's what he said. Oh no. I'm good. I think Go, go. Keeping it out there. It's not moving a lot. Go, go. We gotta be You're holding it. He said it was nice for Caitlin to get deep a draw. Deep Same deep thing deep applies for Leave Jennifer, a chance to get a nice Leave early feel. Brushers to go. see and judge Good. it to the button. Good. Yeah, hey. yeah, right here. And the shooter will hang on to the edge of the gate. Yeah. Everyone's curled here. Yeah. Lots of curl here, especially in really one. The rock away, though. And that's the challenge. You don't want to give away the rock. That means you don't want to move the broom too far away from the edge of the stone. In case something happens, you want to make sure that you're going to hit it first. So it's a challenge of where to put it. Clean. Final stone and looking for the blank. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, clean only. Clean. Great throw and good rotation. That's no problem. And out the side it goes. It took a triple by Jill Officer to get the Jones team out of trouble. Blank on the board. They'll take the hammer to two. The 2013 Tim Hortons Roar of the Rings is brought to you by M&M Meat Shops. Frozen food at its best. By Capital One, what's in your wallet? And by Ford, proud partner of the Canadian Curling Association for 20 years. It was a wonderful men's semifinal this afternoon. Kevin Martin board. against John Morris. It was that hidden stick yep. on a heel attempt yep. in a nine. And the Martin said, oh, no. And that tied it at five. And then Jim Connor throwing the fourth stones as John Morris scores two. And he went on to the 7-5 win. There's Dad Earl, who had been coaching Rachel Holman's team this week. John Morris beats his former teammate and gold medal winner from Vancouver. And so Morris now and his team from the Vernon and Kelowna Curling Clubs Advanced to the final against the reigning Canadian champions, Brad Jacobs from Sault Ste. Marie. And we'll have it for you. Beginning with a pregame show, we'll preview the final. We'll look back at a wonderful week here in Winnipeg. 2.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Sunday afternoon. We welcome you back to Winnipeg on this Saturday night women's final. Tim Horton's Roar of the Rings, the Canadian Curling Trials. A blank on the board in the first means that Jennifer Jones will once again have the last rock. She has the hammer playing the red stones. Get 
can be a little Great slower job by here. both leads. The Let's first one in, corner it. guard, center guard, and there was the freeze. I wouldn't mind it tapping that, but a uh, tricky little spot coming through that port, and then it wants to really curl and finish, and it didn't have enough oomph to move it at all, but sitting in a nice spot. Yeah, lined up like that. Any color can be raised in there, and the red one probably stays. The Another four nice down. throw. Gotta go. There go. Broom down hard. Hard line two. Four. Hard line. Gotta go. No, straight guard, straight guard. Straight guard, easy, easy. We're fully on the front. Okay, three. Okay, yep, 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 yep. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Come on. Really be out to the room on that turn. Yeah. Just double feel. I think we just play the double peel. Yeah. Firm. Quarter rock. Nice angle. Yeah. Sherry being the veteran she is, they uh, called the audible partway down. It was supposed to be come around and ended up lining those two up. There's a chance this yellow could, the second yellow could go back on the red one. Whoa, no. Close. Yes. Yes. Jill Officer, as they try to catch this. Get rid of those two centers, run it back. Nice shot, Bill. Wow, she has been terrific. You take that one, and you think about the one she made in the first. Okay. What a beauty by Jill here, and I think what uh, Linda said was the key. Jill can throw it as hard as any yep. female in the game, but she didn't. She kept the weight down a little bit. It's easy to do that when you're moving 120 pounds of granite to overthrow it. Soft enough, just, just barely curls it up. One, two, three, it starts to spin. The skipper actually sweeps it out. What a shot, that turned the whole end around. He shot it brought you by sponge towels, paper towels, nothing absorbs like it. Here you go, Mark. Dye is sitting the two without last rock here in the second. Yeah, but again, the impact of making that double peel, it gives you a chance after Jill opens it up to play any shot. So you could play a freeze, you could play a come around if you're Jennifer. She's opting to play a hit and roll, but everything's available now. Ooh. Yep, gotta go. Yep, yep. Real hard, guys. Right to it. Hard! 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 You still got it. Hard! John McEwen. Whoa, whoa, and whoa, a roll, whoa. Nice nice. a roll over, and uh, cover that stone. Back of the eight, giving Sherry Madaw something to Thanks, think go. about. Not much curl there at all. Uh, sorry, Linda, the, uh, it looked a little tight. You could tell it was tight by the call, uh, and uh, they held it there perfectly, ended up perfect. So keep an eye in that spot. That's where John Morris could not bury in the fourth, sixth, and eighth end. Well, you and I were chatting that Jill Officer's numbers this week are a bit confusing. Her draws have been better than her hits. So far, her yeah. hits tonight have been yeah. superb. Yeah. Hard. 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 Armstrong, Herkling, Hard. all the way down, Joanne Rizzo Stone. Oh, and that Ready. they got away with. Ready. I don't mind the roll behind. You'll be behind the T line, but okay. I don't mind that. Here. Where, sorry, here? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's make sure we stick around. Jerry got a good shot, but it does mean there's only one rock now left in the house. And once again, you have choices if you're Jennifer. And with Caitlin, she's trying to roll in behind the corner. Pull. Pull. Off. Clean. Pull. Oh. No, Stay watch the here. roll. Yep, whoa. Oh. Yep, yep. Yeah. Go. Hi. Quite tucked in, and as uh, Jennifer knew when she was going to play it, it would be back at the T line. Even partially buried around these corners because okay, we were saying guys. earlier it's so yeah. straight going Finished around up nice. yeah. the corners from the inside out position. Uh, Sherry's Fine. electing not to tap it out. That's yeah, pretty well covered. Yeah, it is. I don't, have, I don't have the good seat like you do, Russ. <laughs> That's right. Well, hey. <laughs> It's the same with the airplane. Well, That's right. Been I'm tired of break. serving you Please peanuts. Jennifer knew it would be behind the tee line, but it's not a huge risk to play that. So you have your opponent drawing to a rock in the corners, which is still a good place for you to be playing. No risk with no center guard. This is a beauty. 
lost it a bit. Well still a little chance for Jennifer to get things going in behind this corner. Joanne yeah. Rizzo. The teams are this really good. It's here. all about applying pressure until the other team makes an error. Nice shot by Caitlin, a nice follow up by Joanne, but there's a slight amount of room to corner freeze this. Room. Line's good. Lock it on. Line straight. Line's really good. No bounce. Keyline. It's all you. Room. 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 No bounce, guys. Oh. No, 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 Can't bounce. Stay with it. No. 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 And that rub and roll off. Okay. Does bring that other Jones Stone into play, so they're sitting two for the moment. Okay. Nine and a half. Oops. I think back the draw, it tracks a bit, eh? It does, yeah. Okay. Nine and a half? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. just basically seven eighths, Joe. Yeah. That looks good. Yeah. As we said, after day two of this, you would not have bet Jerry Madaw being here. She won her first, and then dropped three in a row to Jones that it went at home, and, but then got on a roll, and that tiebreaker over Chelsea Carey. Well, first of all, beating Carey in the final round robin draw to bring Carey back. So there, and then, of course, in the tiebreaker, nine then half, again. Nine and a half over Rachel Holman, so she does have some momentum now. Sherry Madoff. Line and a half. Line's really yeah. good. Yes! Yes! Oh. Yes! Oh. Hold the line here, angle this back. Might get the double. Hold the line here. And she'll roll it over instead. Not good. Okay. It's pretty good, actually. I don't think the double's there. What do you have? What do I have? About half? Yeah, a bit more than half. A good half. Can you play good half, half and get to the nose? That's what I was thinking. Even if you get, get it to one. the, yeah, get that one in the open at least. Yeah. That's it. I think we've got to move that. I don't mind it. Okay. Got it? We solid nice. hack. Okay, speed's nice. Jennifer Jones just dropped the one game all week to Val Sweeting. Val got off to a great start winning her first three and then dropping four in a row. But with a six and one record, that was good enough to earn her a spot directly into the final here against Sherry Madoff. This shot was a lot easier in the start of the week. It's running straighter from the line out. So, uh, Jennifer has to be careful. She has to really get by that guard tight because I don't think it's going to finish much. Hoping to rearrange things, make sure that she's shot and have that red one still left in there, but she's playing it quietly, just hack weight because of that lack of curl. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes! officer. Here comes that corner guard. Got it by there. No. Joanne Rizzo, right there, and it'll spin just it hanging on right right back oh, into the eight foot. That's pretty good, wait here. She knew it was straight there, so she took the guard Sorry. on and just curled it. I thought it would hang a hair longer, too. Curled it. They had to play it pretty tight to the guard. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. Even with the two. Odd odd. I mean, this side hasn't broken down as much, but I still like odd odd. Odd odd. 95? Or we can, we can guard that. that. In, What's you? the play here, Russ? No. No. She's going to okay. stay away from Even that. Uh, the the, the dangerous it. part for Sherry here Hot is there's such an easy double. Yeah. And uh, probably over here too. Jennifer made it perfect, could actually uh, save her back one. So she has okay. to keep yep. it yep. away from those and sit in the eight foot somewhere. They're going to go towards the guard, not that, or the, towards me? the rock at the back of the 12. Yeah, not quite to T. But it doesn't have to be over that far. It just has to be Hot second or third shot. You could hear the front end talking about what information to give Sherry because they're not as familiar with this pass. So trying to take a little guess on draw weight. Whoa, easy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Seven, eight. No, no, no. A little extension. Right off. A little push. Right off. Too much. Right off. Starting to move. No. 
has to slow down. That's uh, closer to 13 than 14 seconds, hog to hog. Um, we haven't seen many mistakes from Jerry Madal over the last couple of games. And All right, guys, what did I throw that? That's a huge mistake. Chance to possibly force Jones here in two. Force her to a single. Ouch. Me too. Okay. Even if I pick it, we get one. Yeah. Okay. Thinking like eight and a half ish or how much? Yeah, that's what I think. Do you think this is just run? I think it might finish up what? Like just a hair. Okay. Straight down, different turn. They haven't played yeah, this shot. It's a little trickier than it looks. And Jennifer would love to just crease this one thin. If she gets too much of the yellow, the red one goes out. So just okay, hit it like thin. Eight, eight yellow, half. yellow, okay. score for three. Hair low. Okay. Should Go move down. a little into, I think it's out wide enough. There's a bit of curl. Makes you a little nervous to play the new turn. Yeah, he was a little surprised. Let's make this, you guys. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Jennifer Jones here in two. One, two. Well, she got a three. Called off now by Lars. And there it is. Wonderful shot. And listen to the crowd here at the MTS. A heavy draw. By Sherry Madog. And Jennifer Jones scores three. <laughs> Jennifer Jones and her team explode for three in the second after a miss. Last rock draw by Sherry Madog. I want you to watch this throw. Watch the hands yep. stay up. Sometimes with nerves, when you're throwing the big hit, you turn the rock. She left the hand up. The feedback was she was right on the broom. It was on and off, and that was made perfectly. And what a contrast when you talk about nerves. Sherry Madaw threw it through. I think that had to be nerves. No nerves on that throw. So an explosion of three, an explosion here of the crowd at the MPS Center as we welcome you back on this Saturday night. Tim Horton's Roar of the Rings, Canadian Curling Trials. It's over the first time in the game. Sharon Vidal will have the last so rock. She has again. the hammer playing the Yellowstones. Whoa, Jill. Jones We're lead, Don McEwen. Right do it okay. Line's not good for that. So yeah, we'll we'll do it right now. Line up hill now for Sherry Madaw. She threw one down, to draw that down the center. We talked about it this afternoon in the Morris game. That the second end is the toughest time to throw a draw because there's spots that are quicker than others. And I truly thought that spot would be a shade slower. And I guess Sherry did too. If she just gave it some extra there, and would love that one back. Oh, she sure would. Normally that is her best shot. Back line. Now, of the teams that were left in this competition, if you talk about Chelsea Carey and Rachel Holman, those are two teams that excel at hitting. Sherry Madaw knows how to put rocks in play, and the draw and soft yeah. shots are her bread and butter shots. So, yeah. long way to go. You just have to slowly peck away. You can't think about getting three. Try to set up the deuce. Right up. Hurry. Right up. Hard. Right Keep it going. Keep it going. Yep. That's good. But the one Good big way. thing so far that makes you think that it's going to be tough is the lady about to throw this rock. And she's made a huge impact in the first two ends, a run back triple and a double last end to get her team out of trouble and let them have the chance for the three. Big, big rotation, even though she hits two thirds of this. Look at that spin. It's still a nice throw. Go that halfway. Don McEwen. Halfway. And there on the right is uh, nice here. Husband Mike. Yeah. 
three and four just fell short. Final round Robin draw didn't make it through. Along with his teammate Danny Newfeld. I don't know who the guy on the right is. <laughs> but it was a good thumbs up anyway. It's two. Really good. Good. Great's nice. Got to be up here. I looked for him yet. on my cheat yeah. card here. But <laughs> on, the, on, on the back. No, right I, I don't know where he was on the back. <laughs> That's right. He was on the back. That's good. Shooting. Very nice. Top. <laughs> Lots of time for Sherry. The way we always processed it was take two, give up one, take two, give up one. There's tons of time left. 16. I think Sherry herself just has to shake off that draw that she missed. You have to park those. Definitely yep. kicked out Whoa. too hard. Yep. Yep. Please, please. Please, please, please. Great throws, Jill. Great, Jill. Yeah, she's uh, been very yeah. impressive through three. Jill Officer. Same, yeah, same. Ah, <laughs> uh, three. Lee Merklinger. Yeah, right here? It's more. It's real tight. Oh, no, don't want tight. Oh. Tight might set up a yellow double. It's getting there. It's, uh, I can't take it back. Uh, doesn't have I can't enough. set up a double, guys. Doesn't have enough, though. Well, mm -hmm. oh, oh, oh. gotta even okay. it up as much as you can. Okay. Yeah. Uh, six, two. Third is perfect. Firm. Caitlin Laws, Close. third Close. stone yep, yep, yep. here in this yep, third. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. Gonna get them both. One and two. And they're on fire. Good shot. Hi, hey girl. Good sleeping. Good two. You can maybe tap this one back, yep. Just back four. Like back that four. Well, yeah, that's good. Is there a heavy draw? Yep, okay. Nice little pocket here. You can freeze to the corner of the left hand, the highest one. Anything will redirect it onto the second one. Just T line. Line's tight. Seven. Joanne Rizzo, who right skipped up. her own team back in the freezing? 2005 right trials that to led to uh, right Turin, right Curling, and Pinerolo. And over on the corner. Do you sense something, though, Linda? Everything seems to be just a little little heavy well, that, was, out of their hands. that one wasn't bad that was a freeze tap option so uh, I think just curled that, think. the combination of curl and speed didn't end up uh, exactly what they wanted but still it's not in a bad yeah, spot like I think you want it as thin as you can on the seven okay would you agree pretty close yeah, yeah. to get that back one we might okay okay let's uh firm okay out turn I'm thinking yep. okay Nose are just a hair high. We kill some of the other. Knowing your angles here, they know that the red one's gone, and they need to decide how much of this yellow onto the red so that they can slide by this way, or maybe even ideally get rid of this dangerous stone that can help Sherry Madaw. Shouldn't be able to jam it, I don't think. She gets anywhere on the high side. Officer in the queue and it backed off. Get it. Yeah. Oh, look at that. And they'll spill it out the back, too. So, fewer rocks, less to work with for Madonna. Great shooting. Gets rid of a couple. Kind of floats there. Yeah, sorry. No, that's fine. Nice shot. Thanks. Great throw. One of the best teams ever in the women's game to know the angles. Just peels that out of there beautifully and gets rid of that dangerous rock. 
sorry. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> No, I wanted you to clip it, but then I was like watching. Well, you can yeah. see the problem for Sherry. If the one had been left in the back and only one in front of it, you could have maybe tried to freeze on the okay. back one. one. Yeah. Well, those red ones yeah. are now lined up. If you tried to draw around them with Clean them frozen, you could redirect oh, onto it. So I think they're trying to do a direct hit, leave the rocks frozen that are left in the house. Okay. Okay. Tough though when they're like that. They often spring, especially with these stones. A little up though, I felt like tightening under it. Yeah, that's what I was hoping would prevail. Attitude's still great with the team. There's a long time to go. They they were in a lot worse position than this after four games. Right on the nose, you guys, I are. think. Okay. We roll a little bit Dawn's way. I mean, I don't mind her doubling and blanking this sentence. So. Dead okay. on. The double's cool. tricky for uh, Sherry. Just to 10. Well, that's interesting this because we're back to the point where the team finish. is defending and with a good lead, even though it's early, doesn't mind ends being taken off the board with blanks. So really for Jennifer, it's win-win. Get rid of something, make it hard for Sherry to score a couple. Get another blank, it's not so bad. The shorter game, as you call it, I mean, you, you, be, you, you do believe then it's an advantage Jones. It's an advantage to the team ahead at this point. Okay. You just keep them off the board for a while, then their frustration grows, and sometimes they take risks they shouldn't, and you never know what can happen. She rolls it over on top on the corner. No doubt, this team has been very good through round robin. Well, take a look at the force right now. They're trying to give the opponent only one. 42% of the times they didn't have the hammer, they forced. That was the best. And 4.9 points against. Those two stats show how good they are when they get a lead. Now, Vic, those steals against. Let's think back to the game that Jennifer Jones lost to Val Sweeting. What was it, seven points they gave yes. up? Stolen points one in that game. game. If you toss that game out, that category has also been very good. Draws have been going, but I think yeah, this one might finish up a little more than the out. Okay, I'll try to throw a hair more than I just did. Okay, you got it. Should come up a hair. Hmm? This might come up a hair. Yeah. More than that out turn. After giving up a three, you'd love to blank this okay, in guys. and get hey, your yeah, deuce. Roll your way, Dawn. Okay. okay. Gentleman on the left, that's uh, Dad. That's Larry. Yeah. Hello, Larry. Yeah. Mum, Carol. I said, I, I, I saw him before the game, I said, you can be able to sit down and watch this. He says, you bet. He says, we've been waiting for this for a long time. So they're going to enjoy every moment and should right now. Their daughter is ahead. Three nothing as we play here in the third. spot you get a chance at the double and a blank I don't you could Vic I don't think Sherry will take it on though you could sorry you'd have to oh, play across the face and roll out she's going to play a draw so this will be interesting because the draw last hand really wasn't close they're giving her the Odd same odd? time yeah, they always do that's the split the interval from back line to hog Odd same odd. as last yeah. end so yeah, she has to control nice. that leg drive this end Full eight foot is what she needs. Stone fully in the white. <clears throat> you got this. And just a little more than that because of the shot stone. T line is also full in the eight foot. So final it's stone drawing against two. Tight on line. Odd on, odd eight. Okay. Line's tight. Line's good. T line. Let's take a look. Line's good. Really good guys. Up and down We're with the head. Cross. 
Yep. Lee Let's Armstrong, go. Lee Merklinger. Breaking really hard. Come on. It's fine. Okay, clean it. That was a much better Very kick. Fun. To the forefoot for a single. Sherry Madon. Okay. okay. Through three, it's Jones okay. leading. It is the Tim Hortons Roar of the Rings Canadian Curling Trials, and it's the women's final. The winner to wear the maple leaf, represent our country in Sochi. Jennifer Jones, blank in one, a great triple by Jill Officer to get them out of trouble. And then again, Officer helping set the table for a three for Jones in the third, helped also by a last rock heavy draw by Sherry Madaw. Madaw's team responds with the single in three. Halfway. And now here in four, it'll be Jones again that has the last rock playing the Red Stones. Still not so bad if you can force a single if you're Sherry Madaw. It starts to get tough Mine's if you give up a deuce there. now. And you, you have to gamble a wee bit. You have mm -hmm. to put some pressure Halfway. on this great Jones team, and they're all uh, firing on eight cylinders here right I now. So. You're right, Linda. It's one of those Mine's ends where really it could go good. either way here. They have to be very careful not to give Ours up a big score. Go. You got it. You got it. A little bit farther. Might Pretty see two high. center guards out of them. Nice okay. sweep, Mark. Shot, Joey. Top court. This is where you see the Rachel Holman team play the tick shot. Lisa Weagle bounce them out of the way and try to make it a little bit easier as the end goes along. When you've got Don Askins in the hack, you ask for uh, touching the top of the four foot dead berry. Got a bit of room. Yeah. Bit of room. We usually get it. can't go. No, we don't want to. No, 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 no. We need it to come down. Are you deep? It's trying. It's close. No, it's, it's trying. It's got to stop. Yeah. No, it's, uh, it's coming down quite a bit. Yeah, it's yeah. got to stop. It's losing its handle. It's almost like it's picking. Yep, 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 yep. It's partly that whoa, 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 spot. Whoa, it uh, whoa, catches a spot Line about yep, 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 mid-8 yep, 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 foot. Yep, 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 if it was yep, yep, a hit, it wouldn't go very yep, straight. Yep. But the draws, it's almost like coming off a hill. That's true. And it does drag the speed off. So no problem getting it top house. Yeah, Over curls a little bit, okay, popping out the other side. Let's throw it top four, guys. You got it. She lost that on the sweep a little bit. A little bit deeper would have helped. Now there's some room to sneak one in behind. As you said, Linda, it's tough to get by a rock in the rings because it curls so much Line's out wide. It's hard to keep it out wide enough, long enough to get by. Six. That's fine. Line's good. Lots you might want to switch. Line's really good. Seven. You might want to switch. Go. go, 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 Joey! Oh, great sweep. Nice shot, Army. They call her Army, Lee Armstrong. You have some of it? Yeah, I got You got about half or a quarter? Quarter. Okay. Long guard, Don. Hack weight. Okay. You got her. Don missed that hit in the first end, and they are tricky. You get a little wide, and he makes you look silly. It doesn't curl at all. Have to throw the right weight. Perfect go, 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 go. So you push it out the back. Stone creeps Here. up. The potential for a hit and roll uh, right now, anyways, is pretty good. 
After that stone by Lee stopped in the eight foot. So Jennifer would like to roll away and make a hit back into that area much tougher. Teams for years tried to roll underneath, but with this big curl and such a good surface, that's not a good spot to get it on the button somewhere. So you got your deuce going here. Keep it simple. Great call. Rolling it away from the center line. One of the keys all week has been ice reading, and I think Jennifer looks like she has a really good handle on it. We thought it might be an advantage for Sherry after playing yesterday. Jennifer sitting since Thursday. I really feel that Jennifer's got a handle on it with every kind of weight. What a nice feeling when you're calling the game. You don't win as much as they do without having a great ice reader as your skip, and uh, she's one of the best ever. Helps the whole team if you can get the broom in the right no. spot. No, nine and a half. No, no, please, no, no. Uh, I want to try a bit, but okay. Oh, okay. All right, let's try. Ding, ding. Good toss. Good try. the other way. Underneath and to the back of the four. Open on the other side. Now to go here. Okay. This is really gonna finish past here. It's careful. a little bit heavier this way. Well, Jennifer would have been happy living on the edge of the 12 foot in this case, not in the center, so it did roll too far, but it was a better plan B than leaving it part way where sure he would have easier access. Behind the tee line, a chance for a freeze. As many rocks out in this spot, I'm guessing a shade Wine slower. Only. I would say we're oh, down. Let her work down. Let her work down. Hard line. Yes. Right up. Hard. Right up for mine. Remember this spot from the men's yeah. Same game? Thing. Just oh, takes off. off the yelled eight, Linda, which yeah, means it's really back eight. It was three or four feet top. heavy. Oh, yeah. Look where it ends up, top hey, 12 good, almost. Joe. Ooh, this could uh, could get messy. You like the peel? Yeah. I know, that's fine. Okay. Go here, they go here. Yeah, I like yeah. I like riffing. I thought Sherry would play the other turn there simply because if you tuck an inch, you're not going to be able to remove it on the outturn side. A path you would have known much better, too. Scoreboard is dictating this. If you leave the situation, if you, if you make a draw yourself, if you're Jennifer Jones, it still might leave that freeze for Sherry. So just peeling off the front. Caitlin Laws. Awfully tough. I think then they're all lined up, aren't they? Yeah, there's a bit of space. The run double might be. Just go on the nose. Good idea. I Instead so. of uh, you don't make that freeze. Like, like seven eight should should get it. Yeah. Yep. Do you like nine? Yep. Okay. Okay. Let's make it. I look good. Yeah. Joanne Rizzo. Oh, wait up. Wow, she got them both. Saves the shooter as well. Great shot. And just like that, Mada sitting the two without last rock. It was a way better call. Not only was it easier, but uh, hang around to sit two here now in a possible force. Beautiful shot. Okay. Hey. Just know that it was nice shooting, Joe. Yeah, well, yeah. How important is that shot, do you think? Just, yep. we don't know what it's going to yeah. result in, if it's a force of one or maybe they get more as a blank, but I'm thinking more psychologically for Madonna's team, that shot, Linda. 
Yeah, definitely a huge turnaround in the end and a chance to maybe get that force. Although there's a sorry, nice Caitlin. hit and roll for Caitlin. Sorry. I'm sorry. But I think sorry, for sure yeah, it got sorry. messy yeah. and it was a good call. It makes you confident about thinking yeah. through yeah. the yeah. end and knowing you're making the okay, smart call. And then a great know, throw by Joanne. They had to come up late with the freeze again because they were going to have to take more ice into a slower path. Uh, they could have been looking at three early. Okay, and then now a good outside chance to a, a force. Army, but nose is okay. Okay. Ten. Good roll by Caitlin again. Those little things people don't you look at it. It's just a normal wide right. open hit, but rolling it over to a spot that Ten. Sherry yeah. probably can't prevent a double with the next shot. Skip Stones here in the yeah, fourth. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hard. 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 Well, this is going to be tough. They want to try and save this now. Oh, dear. And there goes the chance to force. It's a little challenging. It's a spot that actually curls. It was a little wider than the ones know, we talked about. They were the straight. Online. Sherry releases a little earlier. It means it starts to break sooner. The brushers can't hold it if they're called on too late. What a nice turnaround for Jennifer. I think we want to make sure we're cleaning, eh? Just because there's some fresh pebbles and stuff out there. So, 10. So she had like a nine and a half. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, I just, it was, it's surprising us, so. I would. Get rid of Talk about Sherry's rock. I don't think it's a rock at all. That's, I assume, the same rock that she threw it through on. So I don't think it's a cutter. It's just the ice is just dished. This is in a little Good different job, yeah. spot for Sherry. It's in a tighter area at the lower part of the bowl if the ice is dished. So this should run a little bit truer, a little bit straighter than her first one. Whoa, whoa, this one's a little wider. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She asked for a little more ice. Whoa, uh, clean this one. Yeah, clean it, yeah. We, got, we got nose. Clean, clean only. Got. Yeah, they do, right on the nose. Great chance to keep the hammer for another end. Yes. Hard, really hard, really hard. Gotta go. Hard. Hard. Right to it. Right to it. Hard. Final stone, yeah. Jennifer yeah. Jones. Yeah. And rolls it across the top and into the bumper. So a mistake again, Sherry Madaw rolling out. Allows Jennifer Jones to blank. Against two, it's for the loss if he doesn't make this. Just tap this to the oh, yeah. lid like that. Oh, oh, oh. And off of one, look at this. Brad Jacobs. Right off our grid. Right in their heart. Right in their heart. Make contact right on the red. How far go, go, can they go, 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 go. it? Very nice. Far so enough good. for three. That's a great shot. The reigning Canadian champion, Brad Jacobs, Sault Ste. Marie, best record all week, undefeated. And he'll play John Morris in the men's final of the Tim Hortons Roar of the Rings. Doug Gunn is the director of marketing for Western Canada. For Tim Hortons, he's with Brian. Doug, thanks for joining us. First off, thanks for the coffee uh, all week long. It's been fantastic. Why is it so important for Tim Hortons to get involved, not only in curling here, but curling in communities as well? You know, Tim Hortons, it's such a natural fit for us to leverage our national sponsorship and our local sponsorship of curling to be here for the Tim Hortons Roar of the Rings. And if you think about just where curling happens, curling happens in all the communities across the country where there's a Tim Hortons. We've been privileged to be involved with that. So this is just a natural evolution for us. And one of the things that's really important is you've got to make sure that it's not 
not just at the higher level with the, the larger events for the Olympic trials, but making sure that we're in the communities helping out in all of the rinks. A Manitoba team here trying to win the trials for the very first time. The crowds have been electric. Your thoughts on this building and this week? I want every Canadian to know that Manitobans are one hearty bunch. You know, every time they host a national world-class event, they come out in morning draws. They've been incredible. Everybody, yeah, the weather is frightful outside. The crowds are just rocking it in this building. We are so pr privileged in this community to have the business and the curling fans and the city of Winnipeg and Manitobans behind it. It's just been outstanding. Enjoy the rest of the curling. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Brian. Got some room. We thank Tim Hortons. Mine's pretty good. As we welcome Got you room. back. The blank in four. Make sure lock it on. Means that Jennifer Jones will once again have the last rock. She leads 3-1. Off, off, off. She has the hammer playing the go, red stone. Go. No bounce, though. You're only in a quarter. But it's those little things, yeah, Linda, those little no mistakes, no and no particularly no Sherry's. Beauty. A couple of Sherry Madaz stones. Those things she, those mistakes she wasn't making against Rachel Holman or even in that tiebreak against Chelsea Carey. Yeah, I think uh, Russ and I both feel Sherry doesn't have the same handle on the ice, yep. and that's really costly in this game. It's interesting, though, if you talk about a player that's struggling, Dawn McEwen is one of those players. Her first come around goes back 12. I can't remember the no. last time I saw that. Now she did recover and made a good freeze on the next one, but those are little things that are difficult for Jennifer to deal with as well. Got a bit of room. Five. Still got room. Five. Line's getting better. The freeze. Yeah, still got lots of line. Just to it. Yeah, yeah, you can go now. Hard. Right up. Nice line here, right on, glued right on top of that red one. Good. Nicely done, by. Lee Merklinger. I thought the one loss during the week for Jennifer Jones had her in a really indecisive manner. It's something I don't see from her very often. And although there's every opportunity in this game to be nervous and maybe have your mind a little cluttered, I'm not seeing it all. She's very decisive. Goes up, as we'd already talked about, seems to be reading the ice really well. That's a positive thing for sure for her team. We both know that if you're if you're in that zone and you, and you, yeah, you, you know the spot, you feel so confident in the hack. And I think that's the little difference yeah. right now. Sherry's not sure in a couple spots. And Jennifer seems to know exactly what it's doing. And uh, you just play so much better if you know what that spot's going to do. Two and a half. Line's good. Line's really nice. Okay, hold it out there. We're really curling. Hold it out there. No, we're over curling. Okay. Over curling. Just halfway? Yeah. No, over and off. Okay. Good. Nice right. weight. I think we want to try to know this if we can. Up, we're half okay. that stone. Here. They guarded the proper side, though. They could get rid of that yellow. One. I think that, I think that it, that'll work. Here. Okay. Bump, bump 11 and a half. 11 and a half. Those stones in the house are my famous uh, freeze yeah. sandwich. If you made a play on it with the correct side, oh, which is what the guard it. is protecting, the bread, the yellows, goes, yeah. and the meat, the filling of the red stone stays. So this is a tougher little shot to try and move things around. No, 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 That's how you no, stay no, so no. healthy. Eh? <laughs> I Get rid of the bread. Yeah. <laughs> Nice looking shot. Beauty. Thanks, Julie. Caitlin. Yeah. Caitlin. Caitlin. Yeah. It's not just Jill's line in the big shots. I'm impressed with the weight control too. We've watched this great team for years, and once in a while, if Jill's going to miss a shot, it's overthrown or maybe a deep draw. But She's come to play tonight. She's making everything. Um, board. Should I get to the no? Yeah, I mean, either is fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Can you see all, Joe? No. No, just three quarters. Okay, hack then. Hack? Hack. Dangerous call because you're, you're, you're certainly wrong, not going right? to remove the uh, top red one that Jill just put in there yeah, so beautifully. And you'll yes, you'll get the shot rock, but that then 
exposes your own rock that's uh, at the top of the forefoot. Depends on where this yellow one rolls, there might be a double. She barely let it go, Joanne Rizzo and Merklinger and Armstrong have got her right now. Here comes that card, though. No, they won't be able okay. to yeah. get it by. Back line. Okay. That yellow will go that way, right? I guess this way. I think that would be the that best. Like, right? I think they yeah. try to hit it three, like seven eighths this way, hey? Uh -huh. I don't think we want to tap this behind the. Oh, okay. I was going to say either that or, like, right back. Or do you want to just nose it? I don't mind it. Yeah, actually, that's pretty, probably pretty good. Nose is pretty good, I think it does. Like, like it. if we go back here, they freeze. We're chasing. I like it. So, you just a 10? Okay. Okay. It's right on the nose. Okay. I like it. This okay. rock, this is the only one that can really hurt them. They oh, want to really get rid of that rock, I think. They could then yeah. roll, either hit a dead on that. They're now talking about having Actually, two reds on top. But they okay. could they could also roll either it. way, this way or this way, okay. and have three reds against the one yellow. Sure no guards. An incredibly good opportunity to get multiple points here. That guard, that was kind of the saver that, that they could use later in the end, and now it's game on for uh, Team Jones. Yep. Caitlin Laws. Clean. Whoa, off, off, off. Okay, yep, yep, yep. Good. Nice. Sorry, Caitlin. Well, they were trying to line it up better or roll away and just leave the one red Between. in a good spot. Yeah. They're overlapped now a little bit, Rose. Well, that was no, the problem no. with it nosing it. I didn't like that. Great okay. if you could get it perfect, but why not just roll to the corner? And then there's three red and there's come back here. no That's problem. So now with, with oh, them yeah, staggered, Sherry can use them as guards. And she shot rock. Yeah. Think you want to be back four? Be a 90. Uh, first, maybe, certainly one of the few mistakes we've seen from this team so far. And that was a choice. That was a tactical mistake yeah. because I think the problem was they were trying to get it a little too complicated. What has worked so far is not have it complicated, yeah. have it quite open. Especially with this lead, you don't really need to be getting into this situation. Angle uh, on the back one isn't exactly what they're looking for. They're calling that it's a little bit heavy. Might miss the back one. Very nice. Finally, will stop center line back eight foot. Yeah, 84. Yeah, I mean it might. I like nose. Okay, firm. Okay, like the in or the out? I like the out. Me too. We've seen this spot before. Yeah. The problem with those again is you might lose both your own. You know what it's like with these trophies and medals. You receive them yourself. That's what the teams will get. Even a hair high is not bad. This event as well as some bouquets of flowers. You probably have yours pressed between some books somewhere. <laughs> Well, the big thing is not to look over there. That's just a reminder of what's at stake, and you have to keep your mind on your shots. How many reds can stay here? That's the key. Shooter, Jilly. No, no, it's gonna roll. Ah, the jam at the back. Yep, that's good. Now they both spill those Madaw stones at the back of the 12. Nice shot, Caitlin. Thanks. And that is more than I thought it would. Yeah, I thought they'd bounce a little more. But should go fairly straight, shouldn't it? You know, well, through this. Carrying the other way swoops like crazy. Four and yeah, a half you would so. think. And give or take a stone here, Linda. It's not right. as if Madaw hasn't had some chances. You got it. They just haven't executed. Yeah, and it comes back to some of these hits that just haven't worked. I think if uh, no, Sherry can get this game close yeah, and go back to her good yeah. shots, which are the draws, uh, although she ten. did miss one yeah. earlier, but really the draws and the taps are what she loves to play. I think there's uh, going to be an interesting second half. Mm, sure. Would you be content if you're Madaw to hold them yeah. to one here? Thanks. Oh, for sure. I think so, Vic. And they're a long way towards doing that. The chance to sit three here. Morris was down the same score and ended up winning.
still has to kind of think about it. That one we might roll too far. Yeah, I like making that one. Okay. Right on the nose. Even if we end up nutting it, Jen, like she has to think about it. We're probably still shot. Yeah, okay. Throw the intern, I think, hey? Yep. You got it. Like a nine? Nose hit double is what they're looking for. The thing they're talking about with Sherry, don't forget there is another red stone in that one in the 12 foot. So if this double is made and there are two reds in the house, even if they aren't first and second shot, it does make Sherry think about what she's going to play and how she's going to play it. Always the same routine with mm -hmm. Jennifer. She cleans the rock, then takes a moment to make sure she's set for line. Usually the hand rub on the slacks to make sure that the hands are ready to the, grip the stone. Caitlin Law is calling with line, and then there's that jam at the back. Sorry, guys. Hey, Jen. Caitlin had this one figured out quite well. She was calling wall. It needed to get to a position where it would be more straight back. Slight angle jam. She is impossible to draw on right now. Oh, she drew here. Yeah, 13. Yeah. yeah. Because you gave me the hack and I was... Scary little shot, shot for yeah. Sherry. Yeah. If she ever does anything okay. like that, obviously she's in big finish, trouble. So, so just want to slightly roll here, She's going right? to roll yep. over into this direction, I mean, I guess but we can roll to here. obviously can't yeah, roll farther than time. there, okay. or it's a double for two. Board weight. Board, okay? Smart weight so decision, bringing the weight the down. Okay. What kind of weight do you like? Uh, board. Originally from Rosetown, okay? Saskatchewan. It, Sherry Madon, uh, her fourth Starbucks. trials yeah, appearance. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. She went to that first in 97. I'm thinking a little less, Joe. Eventually won by okay, Sandra Schmerler, and then 01 okay, and 05. Yep. Shade straighter spot here. She only wants to hit part of it, has to hang around. Joanne Rizzo making yeah, sure that yeah, line oh, is right to avoid the jam at the back and then roll it go. over. That was a really good shot. It looked uh, a I lot easier than it was. As much as we could. Okay, and good job. Thanks. Very nice. It draws there both ways. Yeah. You know, it is interesting watching Sherry uh, th throw Linda because she does have an Pretty early release. hard to release. roll out that way, isn't it? And yet you can still make all the shots. Yeah. Oh, sure. You yeah. don't have to hold it right to the hoggle. No, it, obviously people think that it's a little easier for accuracy to slide further. And when she does let it go sooner, she gets an earlier break. So sometimes that extra curl is hard to manage on really swinging ice. But she's got it under control. She's done it beautifully. A little surprised at this call. She could draw. She just needs eight foot. Yep. I just didn't there we go. I made the switch. <laughs> <laughs> and that crowd likes it too. Yeah, I do. This spot's nice, Jen. A little bit better, Don. A little bit better, yeah. Okay. Let's make it. I need full lead. I, I don't think you okay. want to hit this early. I yeah. agree. Okay, you guys, Smell let's it. make it. Yeah. Yeah, the rock that Cherry just threw is kind of in the way for a while. If it has the right weight, it'll curl past that, no problem. If it's heavy, it could nose it. Yeah, you could either take the other turn yeah. or a little less ice. I think the other turn scares them a bit. They don't know the speed as well. They haven't played it as much. Full eight foot. Line's good. You can go if you have to. Draw Line's against great. three. It's good. It's all you. All four. you mean Don McEwen. No, no. Line's great. Jill right Office. Might be back four. Okay. No, awesome. Just keep her clean. Line's great. Back four back. No, back just, just off it then. And <laughs> off that stone now. And the 8,000 skips here at the MPS. 
Mike the draw. A victory of sorts for Sherry Madaw, though, as she holds Jennifer Jones to one. Women's final. Tim Hortons, Roar of the Rings, Canadian Curling Trials. Jennifer Jones, the best all week. Sherry Madaw scratched and clawed her way into the final. 4-1, midway through. The 2013 Tim Hortons Roar of the Rings is brought to you by World Financial Group, creating a better tomorrow for families today. WFG. After a blank in one, in which Jill Officer made a wonderful triple, and she got another three in the second, setting up this for her skip, Jennifer Jones. As she puts three on the board, makes the double, holds the shooter. 4-1 now, Jones leads. At the break, Jennifer's withdrawn. Jen, I know you've dreamed about this game for a long time. Is this the dream start for your team? Yeah, you know, we've come out and, and showed up to play, which is nice to see. I mean, everybody's made some big shots when we've had to, and up three uh, after the break is pretty good, but there's a lot of ends left, and we have to stay tough. How big was that triple from Jill in the first end? It was huge. You know, we kind of got off to a little bit of a rocky start, and, and she just changed the end around, and we blanked, and then we were able to get our three in the second end. So, um, I, yeah, it was unbelievable. It was a best start we could have hoped for. As a player, what is the energy like in this building? It's insane. This is amazing. Like, uh, yeah, it's what every athlete wants to do is play at home, and it's above and beyond our wildest dreams. Thanks for your time. Thanks a lot. Yeah, the Jets. And you have Jones. Uh, Jones is looking very good. The numbers are huge, actually, for both teams. 89% for Jennifer Jones. A lot of that comes from Jill Officer at 98%, having a huge impact. Jennifer herself, 93%. Big first five for them. Numbers after five are brought to you by Tim Hortons, Canada's favorite coffee. Sherry Madaw talks with Coach Turcotte. The 2013 Tim Hortons Roar of the Rings is brought to you by Purex Bathroom Tissue. Purex, 90 years of pure comfort by M&M Meat Shops, frozen food at its best, and by Capital One. What's in your wallet? Well, coming up in the new year, we will be in BAMP for the Travelers All-Star Curling Skins game. Now you can vote on the players who will be there. Go to tsn.ca. You'll have until midnight tomorrow, Sunday Eastern Time. Here are the top vote getters. This is not in order of their vote total. This is alphabetical. Fooled you. There you are. Familiar names, of course. Ryan Harnden from the uh, reigning Canadian champions. His brother EJ is there. How about, how about a third and skip? Thank you very much, Ryan Fry. Brad Guju is at the top of the alphabetical order. You'll have until midnight, Eastern Time tomorrow, to vote TSN.ca. A lot of husbands watching wives tonight. Wayne Madar, Glenn Howard, they had a, a difficult week. Their team eliminated from contention. Now watching his wife. Watch you to see if she can indeed come back as we welcome you back and we take our seat here at the MTS Center in Winnipeg for this women's final Tim Hortons Roar of the Rings Canadian Curling Trials. And here in six, it will be Mada that has the last rock playing the Yellowstone. The corner guard has been positioned after the first one came into the top four in the same sort of place that John Morris tried earlier today where it was tough to get around. So we'll see if they have a little bit softer release and get more curl. Yeah, but it's going easy, easy. Uh, you're good. Yeah, yeah, finish it, finish it, Mark. Good shooting, Army. That's the best one we've seen today. Very nice. It forces Jennifer to walk up and peel the corner. Beautiful shot. 
Lee Armstrong. So you drew the comparison. You can draw the comparison to this afternoon when Kevin Martin halfway. led John Morris 3-1 going to six. What did Morris do that is applicable or that Madaw can do now here? Well, and part of it, you need the support to, or the help That's from good. the opposition. Two. You have to get That's an error here or there. But with the free guard zone, you, you get one every end. It, this is a great That's case in point. Two good shots by Don, but because the come around was made, oh, the peel's God. made, and you have a rock in the ring, so you, you really have to stick eight shots together on the same end. That's what you have to do. Not six, not seven, but all eight, and you can get your deuce back real fast. Closer than that. Yeah, I think Open. one of the things, Vic, was just pointed out now on well, that guard, for example, it's too long. It allows a team to come by. So at the hack end, because the ice is a little tricky, as a team, you have to talk. In this path, what are we going to play? Skip's game against this ice. How do we translate that into the speed and make the shot its best? Now, in this case, Jennifer's not going to take a chance because yeah, it is still too. mostly covering the rock in the house. But if you start to leave some long ones, at some point, there may be a chance for Jennifer to get out of this. Jill's right. taking a couple mile an hour off that peel weight, and uh, she just looks so smooth there. There's, you can tell by Jennifer's call, she doesn't even say anything, just watches it come down and runs over and catches it. All right now it's perfection from Jill Officer, so Lee Merklinger tasked with trying to come up with a way to match that. One thing we also noticed earlier today was the placement of these guards because of that uh, dish effect, as you say. Maybe it's better to... Rather than go to the edge of the eight foot with a guard, you want to put it right in the middle of the eight foot. Yeah, or even closer to the edge of the four. And then uh, I'd love to see somebody go around the wide side because the ice is so good everywhere. Right to the boards, it would be similar speed. Obviously, there'd be fresh pebble out that way. But you get so much more curl around the corner guard outside in. Lee Merklinger and Merklinger. My God, hello, Anne. How are you? And a uh, four time Ontario champion. guard probably because it uh, I'm not sure Jennifer is going to keep peeling him too much longer because there's a red double for Madaw later there to sit two. Second shot. What do you like? Do you like playing hack? Sure, play it tight to the front. Okay, like just hack? Just hack. Okay, Caitlin, let's go, Caitlin, let's go. Theirs haven't been going crazy, but okay. let's okay. make sure we either get the one in the house or yeah. yeah. So who will win the and wear the, the gold medals and represent the country? Jennifer Jones with a 4 1 lead. Caitlin Long. Yeah. Hard. Hard. I said we'll play it tight. Hard. Try to get by this guard if we can. If we know, we'll do this. Okay. 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 Good. Okay. So they move the guard over. Sorry, Caitlin. That's fine. Shooter spills nice shot, in. Caitlin. And they are uh, sitting two, probably three. Nice shot. 
I wanted to make sure we were either or. And Half a three it is. Goes down as a missed shot, Half but a brilliant rock. shot, really. Soft release, soft weight. She missed Nine. it the right way. That would have been that devastating right to go there. by everything. Nine. Now Sherry's got the break she needs, but she's got to orchestrate it here somehow by getting rid of all these reds and not setting up a yellow double. One and two. Shot stole right now. Way to go. This is a nice spot to read right next to center line. It's actually a spot that in the 10th and earlier today, John Morris had an absolute perfect read on it. That's how they won the game. It's a very predictable spot. So no, there, no, is there a little roll in? Yeah. We throw in this out turn a lot. Yeah. Let's you got go. It. Here. Yeah. Jennifer, you know, we've watched her forever. They play this shot inside out many times, but she knows this turn better. And that's, okay, guys, right on the nose the or battle. a little bit of a roll Don's way. Okay. okay. Go down. Ten. Try to group the yellows a little more, get across the center line. You rolled to the button, there'd be an easy double, but then there'd be a double coming back for Jones. Jennifer Jones in her first. You heard her say you want to roll it Don's way, so they'll try to roll this stone towards Don McEwen. Roll it to the right as we look at it. No, no. Nice, Jen. That's good. Oh, I'm going to put there. Good. Jen. Sorry, guys. Okay. Sorry. That's good. Thought I threw that well. Mm -hmm. A little snug. The hair. But she's got to play this. She's not going to be Yeah. Over. Yeah. Right? Yep. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Just a 10. Yeah, I think half over, half under is good. Yeah, I like it. Not so sure. It's going to be a rock okay. higher. You roll half under. Will it not set up a raise uh, double I was just possible? A ten. If we get a half roll under, that's good. A little careful where you roll here. Where's a good spot and where's a bad spot? You could roll away. You could roll the left hand side and uh, keep the, the two yellows one. equidistant yeah, to the center line or the yeah, T line. Sure. Ten. ten. Go, Skipper. The concern is uh, Jennifer's second shot at the moment, also. Mm -hmm. So they're trying to get away from that, force her to play the raise. You got to roll to the right yeah. spot, that's yeah. all. Yeah! Pretty ways to roll right behind it and only leave a raise that wouldn't be sitting too. But uh, well, be careful. Did she get this going? Because they jumped it right out of her hand. Armstrong, Merslinger trying to hold this one. And now it'll roll over and just. Nestle against their own. Uh, good scrub. I was just a little tight. You guys held it there pretty yeah, good. Well, sure Worked out that they're beside yeah. each other, though. Right on the nose. Hair roll there, right? Eh? Yep. I think this is going to move a little bit. Okay. Okay. Like 10? Same, same weight, yeah. Okay. Obviously has to stay away from her own red one. That would be a catastrophe. But hit that yellow that was just thrown by Sherry and roll half a rock towards the red one to sit two. Was Jones it the hair? doing a little got it. cleaning as she makes her way down to the pack end. Right on the nose. Right on the nose, Dawn. Yeah. Probably a little heavier, eh? Or my hair, not my bad. Let's make it right on the nose. 
The double's makeable too, but when they're that tight together, it's if you hit a little too much of one or the other, you don't have enough power to get the second one out. So you clean it and the way the rocks yeah. spin, your shooter might actually just spin over top. Mm. It's really hard to judge those. It's a little scary. You want to stay away from your red one here. Just a reminder too to yep, yep. John McEwen and Jill yep, Officer just yep. clean it oh, as well. Ah, yes. oh, she expected this stone to move just a little bit. Spin I talked okay. about. And now, double for two, Russ. Two. Just a just a nose might do it. Beck, I don't think they have to play the double. No. Just hit it, and maybe roll. It might have to roll an inch or two towards the center line. No, I think it's just yeah. a nose she hit. Did. You may, you're right. right. You actually, that's good with ten, then? we'll have enough of the eight foot with ten. the nose hit. Wow. Ten. Isn't that funny? We talked about those little things. Uh, I asked yeah. you about what what ten. needs to happen. What happened for? Uh, for John Morris earlier today, and you said some mistakes from the other team, and there's one of them. Yeah, yeah. then that, that was really a, that was one of those that you, you didn't mind she missing that way. You just sure couldn't miss it the other yeah. way and give up three. I like the little last the extra point was really generated by too. the yeah. corner guard being played by Sherry Madaw, and persistently, once the come around was yeah. made, putting it back, putting it back until she had a chance in the house to get something going. Eight nice, nice throws here. Good end. Whoa, 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 off, Mark. She's given the chance here for a deuce. No. Bang it right on the nose. No, might have to play it thin, Joe. Yeah. Right on the nose. Oh, oh boy. And now it looks like he may have gotten away with it. Just gotten away with it. Well, a late call to try and change the plan. Should have been playing it thin all the way. Yeah, if you called it earlier, it would have been have not that even sooner. close. Yeah. It would have My been fault. fine. And they're going to call for the measure. Yep. From that quick look overhead, it looks like yellow is second shot. Yeah. Here's the thought to try and hit it thinly and have a catcher and not go over the top. I'm just too late to catch it that way. What a, like okay. Those mistakes. Madonna just, <laughs> Linda doesn't yeah. Yeah. appear to be on her game right now. Am I right or wrong? I think she got away with it, Linda. Yeah, I think it is yellow. Oh, yeah. yeah, just a little off pick. Tiny bit wide in a spot that doesn't come back very well. Jennifer's also went straight there. So watch the dial. One. Eh? Just at that one. Now have a look. Yes, it is. Two yellow, two Madaw. She escapes. So I know just a little fingers at the end, eh? They were the four teams with the loudest cheering sections here in Winnipeg. Jennifer Jones, Chelsea Carey, Jeff Stoughton, and Mike McEwen all had the luxury of playing here at home this week. And all were trying to change something that's rather hard to believe. No curling team from Manitoba has ever won the Olympic trials. There have been winners from British Columbia, Alberta, Saskatchewan, Ontario, even Newfoundland and Labrador, but none from here in Manitoba, a province with as rich a curling history as any other. But they have been oh so close. Kerry Burtnick was the runner up to Kevin Martin at the 2001 trials. Four years later, Jeff Stoughton had his chance, but fell short to Brad Guju. Tonight, Jennifer Jones' appearance in the final marks the third trials that a team from Winnipeg has made a final, but the first where they have home ice advantage. Now, Manitobans do have a history of Olympic success, but on other types of ice. And so the people here in Winnipeg would like nothing more than to see that continue, but on the curling ice in Sochi with a Team Canada that's their very own. Chelsea Carey receiving a tweet that you're on TV. <laughs> Chelsea Carey and her team making it through to the tiebreaker. Losing that last draw would have gotten her through, brought her back, and then losing the tiebreaker. Sherry Madaw. So we welcome you back. What a big deuce that is. For Madaw in six.
down by one. And here in seven, it'll be Jennifer Jones that has the last rock playing the Red Stone. Actually, the last two ends have been pretty perfect for Sherry Madaw. The fifth end, she forced Jennifer Jones to draw against three. Jennifer made a mistake on some angles on rocks in the top of the house. And there's the deuce, so uh, a whole new ball game. I mean, no kidding. And a little congestion here now for Jones, but uh, four perfect curling shots right off the bat. Got it. What can you see of it, about half? A little less than that. Okay. Back button. He's going to get a little more aggressive without the uh, advantage of last stone. This will warp in here sideways. It'll hang and hang and hang to almost the hog line and then really turn. Line's pretty good. Seven, eight. Line only. Eight. Yeah, we're getting tight already. Eight. Yep. Or is it Joe? Yes, line. Seven. Eight. Rizzo and Armstrong. This is going to be a big brush no, if they have any no, hope. No. Stay there. Just All right. very soft on me. Oh, okay. Okay. Actually, the That's weight fine, was the biggest culprit there. A little more speed, it might get by. Jennifer's approach to these ends is to play these angle freezes, wow. and it works fine. But if you did tap, you would no, have a little more no. room. So she does rely on Jill and Caitlin Please. to clean things up. Occasionally, uh, you'll have a chance to run things back. But at the moment, these are just peels. So still, she has to try and do that rearranging in the house later in the end. Start the middle, halfway. Angles yeah. aren't great for Jones either. You could probably throw peel weight, hit half that red one, and get both the Jones rocks out of play. It's halfway. Russ, what changes here? You just asked Lee Merklinger to try and go around. Three. Now she came Mine's up light good. granted and the shooter has two, two stone has rolled Sorry, over. Two and a half. But Mine's you could still try good. it again. Why go back to the center guard? Yeah, you really could. There's no question about it. And the, I, I think it's because they were just jiggled around a little bit with uh, Lee's. He just Sherry's not quite as comfortable with that raise situation, but I, I, I'd be tempted to go around again, but this is not wrong either. Either way, you have to kind of get in well done, Jones's Mark. head. What's the other skip going to do? And if they can waste some time peeling, then you can go in later. Teams are represented there, aren't they? Winnipeg Jets winding up their road trip in Tampa this evening. Scotiabank Wednesday night hockey continues this week. The Kings will be playing the Maple Leafs in Toronto. Coverage 7 Eastern time, 4 Pacific on TSN. Scotiabank Wednesday night hockey. Halfway. Heard the end. There was just something about that brushing right there that they said, oh. <laughs> after this week. Are you giving it your all in this game? Oh, sure. You're not leaving Please. anything in the tank. No, nothing to Please. save here. Right you're good, you're good. Nice throw, Caitlin. You look at Sherry's games, there's so many really close games where you're just giving it your all for all 10 ends. These aren't eight end games either. Two practices, a like couple games a day in a lot of cases. It's a lot of physical effort. A little heavier out here, Poke. That's good. Gonna have to give you about here. This is tricky. Oh, no, We're into uncharted waters yeah, um, here, a little wider. 95? Yeah, 95. 
I'm assuming this will curl just as much, maybe more. So they're going to have trouble getting by a rock that's not even Hang on the on center line. But if it's Seven. when it starts to curl, it's going to come big time, I would think, right? Oh, for sure. And here they go. This is a big scrub for them trying to hold it. The benefit is you go a little wider. She felt she had to add a little bit, so it's not going to curl quite as crazy, but it will go a little uh, bit deep. Too far. Shot stone still is Jones, top edge of the four. Sorry. Well, Rachel Holman right there with the hello and uh, appreciative crowd. Finish with a four and three record. Made it to the semi-final before losing to True. Sherry Madaw. We go here. Top. She and the team will yeah. get their bronze Top medals. Four. You like that? Sure. Do they have anything there? I just don't know, like, just come and talk. Like, we go a quarter rock. We can change these angles a little bit, but then they might end up sitting two out of it. Like, they hit to lie three. Yeah. You know, like because that's open. Yeah. These angles are not good. If we go here. Like, what does she do? Follows she plays us down that. or plays that? Yeah. Don't mind that. Let's take it. Four. Yep. Okay. Speed should be not bad, eh? What? Speed's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I had a, I had it is difficult there, when too. you have that series of come arounds almost freezes and the angles don't line up. You get to this stage, just okay. same thing happened in the fifth in where the angles weren't right. Yeah. And now you're trying to decide whether you still want to open up the front a little bit or make your play in. So they have decided to play the come around, but this cannot go deep. A little concern too about that uh, redstone top four and anything you might leave off of it. Sherry can hit that red one that shot rock, and she can also uh, play the red rays and eliminate a couple of uh, red stones too, and leave at least two yellows. So it's, it's it, as yeah, Caitlin can. said, rightly so, the angles aren't great. Caitlin Laws, last of the third stones here in seven. It's, it's heavy. Back four, back eight, maybe. Wow. It's trying, but it's still heavy. We can't touch it. No, you can't. You can't. Should finish here. Got a sit. Got a sit. Great spot. It comes okay. down to the edge of the four. The sit two. Yeah. And that's two with last rock. All right, pretty good. Just wasn't sweeping. Wait. Just can nose. Pretty good shot. I'm thinking just board though, like a ten. Which turn do you want to play? I was thinking the out turn. That's this one. Yeah. Haven't seen anything down the center line here? No, it should just come up gradual. Okay. Got it. Just tiny off nose right here. Do you like that or you like hitting that red first? Oh, well, that's going to accomplish red. what? Number two. Just this is going to go in the way then. Then we'll never get it. And then she comes around. But even, yeah, I think actually popping red is better. Right, yeah, because so. even if I make that shot, she's still got shot, right? And then she's coming around up here. Well, Lots of time. We've got something Where do I we want to hit this, Omer? if you make Omer? this, it sits here, doesn't it? it yeah, it might. Actually, you, you know what? I don't mind this. Um, what yeah. is it, Merck? Just a 10, though, Joe? It's good if you can keep your shooter there. Well, I don't know if it'll stay there. If you can hit pretty much nose, yeah, but it's going to roll a little bit that way. Well, Sherry can do something like that. Next time around, when it's her next turn, obviously Jennifer's going to do something about it. These reds are gone for sure, so it's a nice situation here to run okay. that yellow one in. If she could, the key is can they can they get it tight enough to hit the nose. past the top red one to hit and stay. Any Is angle, you're right? actually potentially jamming the red back in the back it, yellow, rolling one? away and leaving a better situation for Jennifer. Yeah. yeah. So okay. that's why Sherry's a little uncertain. Yeah. Time, out. Time out. Time out has been called by the Madaw team. I see Bob Turcott making his way to the ice. Three time Canadian no, senior, world senior champion. 
The top red double that I just illustrated for her second option works too. Yeah. Okay, well, let's red, think about this, Sean. Yeah. If we hit here mm -hmm. and roll here, what's she going to do? I like hitting the red one. Okay. Yeah. I did too. You, you probably, she was down there. You probably want to hit yeah. it with softer weight. Not, not, you don't want to blast things. Yeah, right. Yeah, and we want the shooter to Just stay Just so here. that you kill that rock. We have stuff to use in front of the yeah. stuff in the way. Okay. So if we want to hit about seven eighths. Because it'll come right over in the corner of eight. Yeah, seven eighths. Okay. Okay, so with a ten. Okay. Thanks, Bob. We got him. How's this going to run? What do you think, Mr. Uh, Turcotte's idea. I well, there's two. I, I like it. We that I was a, the second option I, we drew up, but I, I was thinking maybe possibly more weight, and then the yellow, red one's oh, yeah. gone, and the red one's gone. Yes, it's the shot kind of rock's still fun. here, but you're in well, pretty good shape. I don't want to roll the shooter too much. What Bob's saying is throw it a little bit softer, and this yellow one hopefully will just slide over into this area, but it all depends on the speed. Nine and a half. Yeah, I like it. You might be leaving Good. with the softer weight. You might be leaving the one she's hitting in the rings also. Nice and you've got to be careful with the hitting ability of okay. the Jones team. Okay, nine and a half. Yeah, nine and Still and a half. two yellow to come down, or two red to come down for Jones. So. Back double. Yeah. I think she's leaving the uh, first red in the rings with this speed. Nine and a half. Whoa. 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 Right up. No, it's running. Yeah. No. Right, she'll get the top one at least this way. Oh, oh, he's gonna stay. Oh, oh, wow. Hey, Sherry. You throw that exact same shot, Vic, with a lot more weight. Both reds are gone, which would be half the battle here. Yeah, thin with very little speed was not the good result. No. Even thick with that speed would only got one of them, I, I think. You were, I just yep. I like the call, just more weight. Shot Stone Jones. Behind, Second yeah. shot. Try the that. Dog. Back three. eight. Third shot it appears to be Jones. That'll probably be the best eight shot. Foot Do I have a quarter? Eight o'clock. Not, not, not quite. Pack weight. Sure. Think like so, it. At least I'll have an open shot. It, like mm -hmm. I don't know where else we go. Neither we go. Off. That one. Yeah, but I don't like we go there. Yeah. It's not bad. That's pretty good too, actually. That's real yeah. good. I love that shot. This I don't like going tough. after it that one at the top. No, 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 no. Like she plays that run. Okay. Do we want to roll just in front of ours? Yeah. Okay. Two boats, Linda, you and me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't really think she cares. Oh, okay. But it, but it right. looks like she went with Two. it anyway. <laughs> I love like this for a ton of reasons in front of the T-line. If, if you ever rolled this it up and dead, hit dead on, or, or, or sorry, got it roll a half a foot like this? and yeah. it lines up to two reds, Sherry can't yeah. play the raise and she's like in big trouble. That back one Just like roll three. a foot. Can you hear Jones confirm that well, it's they believe there. they are yeah. the third yeah. shot yeah. as well. third of this back one. Okay. Are we rolling in here? Sonny? You still like this better? I like this, yeah. Okay, okay. Let's, let's go. Let's go, Jen. Just if she freezes that back one, we're kind of, the end's gone. Okay. And That's what like I was this, I don't mind it. Okay. Call time. To freeze to the we're face of that time, Jen, yellow is difficult. Saying. We haven't we played that spot that either. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I think we need to stop the clock a little bit. What? I think we need to stop our clock because it's running. Even if we're just tapping it back. Yeah, I think I like that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, just tack. Back line or half? Okay. Just tack. Okay. If they're going to be three after this, I don't mind it. But they're worried about uh, the freeze here. So I, I, this is a delicate shot. Just tack. The okay. red on the left at 8 o'clock could be closer okay. than the yellow at 2 o'clock. So I guess even if you roll out here, you're laying two, and then that makes more sense. If you are Sherry Badal, Linda, are you uh, liking this? Hit a strategy better than the initial play on the Yellowstone? You know, I think if the one that was called previously was made perfectly, it would be harder for Sherry. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right. No. no. This is a tricky spot because if the ice is dished, this is not going to curl right much. Right off, right off, right off. Off, off, off. Never, never.
Whatever. No joke. Anything. Anything. Hard. Anything. Just Hard. a little bit. That's She's going to lose her shooter. Okay. And they are sitting the one still. One. It's actually not terrible. And a two. Yeah, no, the second shot it's being fine. at the eight foot. I thought it looked like a lot of ice. And around eight o'clock. It's not terrible. No. Sorry. This is going to be really difficult to hang around there anyways. And if they're two, I wasn't sure whether they're two, then uh, they believed that they were yeah, before. Yeah, that's right. Pick. Anytime we have to make a decision. Right. And then the two's like running her? that way. Well, what do you see? Even if, what if you we just want to hit this? Force her to drop or two. Okay. Come in where? Like with the draw. Just sit on top of it. If you draw, I think you draw right here. Yeah, but if it hangs wide, you can shoot here. Well, they don't really hang if, if, if we make that draw there, Joe, she's got the double for four. Right. Unless we draw here again and then give her the same shot. Okay, we just got to make sure we're even with it. Okay. You can try hitting this really thin, okay. going right so across, and hope you get that double. Uh, and you can even make it off of your own, uh, or off of Jennifer's here. rock here, and cool. kick across yeah. and, and possibly make here. it. Uh, Sherry had a great like point. If she comes down with a draw yeah. this way and it slides down here and doesn't curl enough, there's a double for a potential four. So if you're what going to draw, thinking? this out turn makes a little more sense. Well, Joe through 84 is back four weights. You just yeah. don't love so drawing against two without hammer. Especially in a little straighter say, spot. And using 85. stones in the house as your guards as opposed to a nice guard out in front. Tougher to get around and get to the right spot. Either top four tucked an inch or you got to go back quite a ways to make sure it's buried. Final stone Seven. for no, Sherry Madaw. Line's good, Ray. We're going to get to the back Seven. four. Lots of room. Six. Seven. There we go. Oh, We're going. Okay. He's to curl. Line's getting better. It's coming. It's coming. You gotta bury it though. Yep. Yep. Oh, yep. Oh, yep. Oh, yep. Oh, Boy, yes. does this yes. ever oh, fall yes. off. Yes. 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 And they'll oh, get it to the lid, but it's not covered at all. Just such a tough shot for Sherry. She had to, she, I thought she had ice for that same spot wow. to put it right there in the butt, to be honest. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's the call too now much Now that we've ice. broken it down a bit, it's not swooping as much. You know, if, if you're playing that shot, that? you're almost playing to take it back for a second shot and hope that Jennifer doesn't make a draw, <laughs> exactly. which right. isn't going to happen a lot either. Right. But yeah, that was basically what you were trying to do, to get it hidden around a rock in the house. You had to go deep. Jennifer should be close. You just threw the exact same thing. They're going to throw a little more weight this time. You can hit and roll out and get two, unless you take your own on the way by. But soft enough, the three is on, Vic. It's there. First one tracked, pretty straight. There's a buzz in the crowd here at the NTS. They know that right potential off. is here for a three as we right watch this final stone. No. Don't Jennifer please, Jones, please, please listen to the crowd. Please. Listen to the crowd, brushes go up. Crowd responds. Jones. They may just measure those two around the eight foot. I set them both here, I was like. But the Jones team all along thought it was a possible deuce at that time. And I thought you had a little less ice on that one, so I thought I did take that. Yeah. This is a big I didn't throw those third point. Good. Sorry, guys, but the yeah. Yeah, yeah. first one I just couldn't nut it so like I wanted to. I thought even if I hit and rolled out, yeah. but I did. Yeah, you yeah. couldn't stay there, yeah. So from the Jones Stone. Yeah. I had a good time on her draw, actually. Yeah, I did too. Close. Very close. Oh! Come, Carol Jones, 
is up and cheering, as are most of those here. And the MPS Jones scores three. We're coming up in Fusen, Germany in a matter of days. These teams, these countries will try to qualify for the Olympics. It's a last chance qualifier. Two teams will move on to Sochi. Look at the names there, including Andrea Schopp and Bing Wu Wang. Who would have thought that China would be in a last chance qualifier to get to the Olympics? Those teams who are already there, familiar names, Margareta Sigfridsson, Miriam Ott, Eve Muirhead, Erica Brown, we know them all, and Anna Sidorova had played very well, struggling of late, but the Russians have invested a lot of money to make a uh, really good impact and have a top-notch performance in Sochi. So Canada to fill their spot, their women's spot here tonight, and Jennifer Jones looking very good now, doesn't she? Scores another three and seven to lead, seven three. And here in the eighth, it will be Sherry Madaw that has the last rock playing the Yellowstone. Well, we were chatting about the last in, and it's interesting when you do have that guard and then a series of come arounds and angles, how it doesn't appear sometimes that teams think through what they're going to do with third and skip stones. The angles are set up a certain way, so you look at them and decide if they favor your team and what you have to accomplish to do it. As soon as there was some movement of that angle it didn't feel like either skip really had a good feel for what to do with it yeah and it's funny because i heard caitlin at least twice say the angles aren't good for us but then sherry didn't really take advantage Line of it and i thought the timeout i think they might have called Line's the right really shot good. but they didn't execute it with the right weight if they thrown some speed at that okay, red double they, they would have all flown okay. out of there and there would have been two or three yellow with really only one red line, easy so to get to good. and the most jones ever gets is yeah, two good. and she had to protect even good. scoring and Very nice. once they bounced them around all the red stayed and uh, there's a big three on that scoreboard and now jones is in defense mode she puts the second one through after she places one in the top eight so here goes the peeling game. Whoa. Off. Clean, clean. Good, Jill. Give you a little left. That, you threw that great. She's still, Jill officer. She's throwing them all great so far as today. She's played really well. Nice, Don. Okay. Mercs, make it happen. Shots, oh, Army. Halfway. Jill officer at 98%. She's thrown eight peels, but don't forget the beginning of the game. Two runbacks in one. And the second run back made a triple and then a double in two. So she's had the hitting game down pat in this game. We both said if Sherry gets off to a good start, good. look out. And uh, all of a sudden that big weight triple Even and that seemed yours. to change everything right off the bat. A wonderful yeah, shot by Jill good. and she's continued to do it throughout the game. Easy. Running a bit. Easy. Take a look for weight, guys. We're here already. Whoa. Oh, sorry. Oh. Nice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Okay. Trying to hold the corner good. line, good and they do. I got it. Okay. Back eight. Yeah. Are you coming around? Yeah. Um, it's quick. Just normal. Just normal, Mer. Yeah. Much. We're gonna have to finish it. It's all right. Just normal weight. So odd odd. Nice. Lines a little good. Hard line. The guard is really tight to center. Hard line. Don't want to fracture that guard over too far that they can't use it. Okay. Now they will okay. push it over to the edge, covering the edge of the uh, eight foot. Double. Tough one. Quarter. It runs really straight here, so Jake. don't 
can back it up if we need to. Good ice awareness from Caitlin. Don't just leave it up to the skip. You have to visualize what it's going to do here. Caitlin Laws. Whoa, yeah. Officer McEwen have her now. One over. And now, watch where this goes. Watch where this goes. And pushes it to the back of the 12. Remembering now, Madon does have last rock. Playing the Yellowstones here in eight. I thought it was backing it up too much. It's my fault. They took a little chance in trying to play both of them. They could just try the single peel and force Sherry to make the good come around, but they took the little chance. And the luxury of the four point lead on the scoreboard means they don't really mind the open play. They don't want it to get too close. Well, there's still three rocks left for a potential okay. double. Mine's They're going to guard guys. it first, Mine's actually. Good. Mine's good. Mine's good. A little dangerous here if you don't guard it. Whoa, yep. whoa, whoa, over and off. Just one. Higher. Whoa, no. leave it. No. One. Whoa. No. Sorry. Yikes. Okay. I thought they might split the rings or. You can no. hit the top rock. I have, I have almost three quarters. I've had. Okay, just throw here. Okay. Right. Firm, just firm. If you get the guard, that's fine. Okay. Okay, Yep. Four. Yes. Okay, the laws. <laughs> Just got the corner. Just got enough. Well, Caitlin th threw pretty big weight on that. I was kind of surprised she really let that go, but uh, went nice and straight. No problem picking it out. Uh, we might run out of rings, but. Could be a little four. adrenaline flowing here now because you start to taste it with a four point lead and uh, a lot of work left to do. It's all there. It's all there. Whoa. Not, not at all. Ooh, this needs to slow down a little oh, bit, I think. Mine's good. No, no, no can't. No. Joanne no, Rizzo. No, no. Yeah. Sit down. Sit. Sit. Oh, okay, shoot. Joe. Sorry, guys. Okay. It won't hang around all the way through. Tough one, Hope. It's okay. Sorry, Sherry. Hey, Joe, I'm sorry about your guard. That was oh, not I enough know, ice. It was heavy. Shoot. Well, it was not the right ice for the guard either. Go around here, red one. Yeah. You got it. I uh, I admire uh, Sherry Madaw's uh, yeah. demeanor on the ice. I guess I just, uh, the way she handles her. Her team well, I've always said I love her honesty. Yeah. She takes credit for uh, when it goes way. well, but she's very honest when 12. she makes a mistake about ice right? yeah. or the call that was made, and that's what she was telling her teammate. And it feels good to know that she threw a good stone, and maybe it was the skipper that has made a little mistake. Yeah. Keeps everybody she's feeling a little more too. up. Like Wonderful little team close. player. And, uh, you backed her up, so. Yeah. Jones with a couple of threes, and uh, that last one in seven. Broke it open. The lead by four as we play here in eight. Whoa. No, no. Uh. Clean. Whoa. Clean. Whoa. Clean. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yep. Yep. Yes. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Just thinking of taking your own out at the same time on a thin check and coming <laughs> over. Caitlin was trying to make noise. You talk about numbers, well, Jennifer Jones has the superior numbers at 88%. Perfect draws, but you know what? That draw percentage for Sherry Madoff, think of the costly ones. The second end she threw went through. That allowed Jennifer to play the shot for three, and then the last end, the come around didn't work with it. The player numbers are brought to you by Capital One. What's in your wallet? The freeze is too difficult with these stones. You get a little angle, Jennifer can blast it out of there. So they're going to use the rock and eight foot as a guard, go around. It doesn't even have to be shot rock here. You want Jennifer to chase it or force it to a longer run back. One or the other needs to be undercover somehow. Line's good. Line's good. Line's good. Well, as uh, this Madaw team did right from the 
end of round robin. They're they are scratching again. Scratching for points that will keep them alive here in this gold medal game. Keep it going, keep going. Just die on her center line, top of the button. Okay. Well, Jennifer could play it either yeah, way. Yeah, she pick it out or she could play off her own because it didn't go very far back. I think we just pick it, eh? Like there's no point in sticking back. around here at all. Runback's tempting because you could probably sit in two and uh, force Sherry to a single, but. Uh, the most important thing is what Jennifer wants to do, and she just wants to remove the yellow, and that's fine. She knows this shot better. That's great. I'll just redo this. How's that sound? You know, Jennifer was saying, we talked earlier about the preparation. and uh, The only ice available in the western part of Canada was always in Edmonton at the uh, Savile Centre, but they had ice here in Winnipeg as of July. And that's when this team started to train. And then they were on the ice and in the gym six, seven days a week, she was saying, all in preparation for this moment and this event. Yep. Yep. Clean. Clean. Final Clean. stone for Jennifer Clean. Jones Clean. Clean. here at eight. And the pick. Sorry, sounds like there's a hair under your foot, and just like there's a hair on the rock. I'm like, okay, well, make sure do it again. <laughs> Pick would be brutal. I don't think so. What's the thought here, Russ? Well, you normally not really blank and try to get two one. and nine, but two and nine now makes it seven okay, five, so you have to in. steal two. So they're hoping they, uh, yeah. with the free guard zone, take one here. Yeah. Free guard zone, you're going to have a couple yeah. rocks in play. Got it. Make it, make it draw. Possibly steal a deuce hey, and skipper. get right back in it. Right on the beak. Okay, just a 10. I'd be tempted to blank and try for the three next end, but I right. don't know how likely that is playing against right. a team that peels well. Right. That's the hard part. At least without hammer, you get to throw two guards in this end, but it's, it is uh, pick your poison, isn't it? 10, 10 and a half. Well, 10. Careful, it's pretty straight here. Yep. Clean. Yep. Yep. Sherry yep. Madal looking to take her single. Sherry, good throw. And she will. So Madal will take her chances now without last rock. Down by three. Once you get a taste of those Olympics, I'll tell you what, it's really motivating to get back and, and get another crack at it. John Morris will advance to the final. We can get back. I can defend our title of, of gold there. The three guys I've played with are probably three of the best guys and human beings I've ever played with, and, and it's been a treat all year to play with them and for them to have a chance to go to the Olympics. I, yeah, I couldn't think of anything better. And they will have a chance against the reigning Canadian champion Brad Jacobs, undefeated all week through round robin. We'll preview starting at 2.30 Eastern Time, a half hour before the gold medal game. Join us Sunday afternoon, 2.30 Eastern Time on TSA. Gold medal final of the Tim Hortons Roar of the Rings Canadian Curling Trials. Sherry Madaw takes the single, going to gamble without last rock here in nine, trailing by three. Jennifer Jones has the last rock. She has the hammer playing the redstones. Uh -oh. Well, the first tick is made, and then your rock grabs something and stops. So a really tough start to the end for Sherry. Wow, and to add insult to injury, the tick was made so well by Don. The rock that's usable for Sherry is a red one, even though it's in the free guard zone. Under the rules, you can hit your own rock. So there's a good chance there won't be any guards in play. Mind you, this could be Dawn's first peel in the history of her career. <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> yes. Yes. Hard. Clean. 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 Nice throw. Oh, she's a hundred percent. Nice 
Takes off her like own. Nice. Yeah. Don't need to whip it. Here you go. Shooting gun. Let's clean it, Joe. Line clean. Half a little tight. It's getting slow. Away. Okay. Halfway is good. Okay, we're there. This way. That's a tough one, Army. It was such a good start for Sherry. They had uh, lots of pressure on Jennifer Jones. And as we said before, if it wasn't for Jill Officer opening things mm -hmm. up okay. in those first few ends, yeah. it would have been a whole different story. You never know what might happen yeah. if you got a little break early and scored against them. Well, even a force it looked like there at the best. And then when the second end, Sherry's got hammer and uh, you don't give up the three. Okay, it's fine. Okay. This is automatic Great today. Just a wonderful game from Jill. In six after the break, you know, Madon hey, got a break, Halfway. got a mistake from Jones. Picked up her deuce, but then in seven, yeah. another three. And that's really uh, sealed the deal. That's good, Murky. Three. Tighter. Right here. Look like they're dying, don't they? Yeah, it's not as quick. That's good. That's good, guys. I got less on that. Okay. Yeah. So what's the game story for you? Well, we talk about that second in and the miss by Sherry Madal, allowing Jennifer Jones to play the double and get her three. And then in seven, the angles never set up for Sherry Madal, so that left Jones a hit for another three. Really tough to come back, and Jennifer Jones also a great game at 89%. The game story brought to you by m and Meat Shops, frozen food at its best. And uh, the numbers for Sherry Madaw obviously not as good as they were as she made it through the tiebreaker semifinal into this final. No, I, it's hard to say sometimes exactly what goes wrong. Sometimes that beginning where it was actually a good start for her team, and things start to go wrong. They had a little loss of confidence yeah. with the missed draw. Just yes. little things started to go wrong for her, where yesterday it just went right. Well, it's great execution, right but here. also a few breaks, That's and three. everything went her way. Let's keep it clean. Four more reasons that's it's made really it tougher. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> the Jones team, they're making a lot of shots. And we said they were best all week. We said they were best all mm -hmm. week at shot making yeah. and yeah. at scoring, and this is just playing out again home. today. I think also you have to be impressed with Caitlin and the rest of the team for the kinds of shot making today because they have actually played every kind of shot. Jill Officer mostly the big way whoa, hits, but whoa. we've seen a little bit of everything. We've seen the doubles, but also oh, the quiet oh. shots. So they showed uh, they can play any good. style Ooh. of game. Oh, sorry, Sherry. Thanks, Sherry. Thanks, Sherry. They go on and win. They will need it against the likes of so Eve Muirhead, who was so I'm impressive last year at the World Championships, and Sweden, Margret Sigurdsson, who has uh, been a runner-up at the Worlds and at the Europeans. Just a three, Joe. It's a tough, hey, tough field if they happen to go to Sochi. Very much. It might have Bingy Wang. Uh, oh, yeah, it's 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 going to be a tough field. And many of those European, top European teams, such as Muirhead, spent a lot of time in the fall, and they did very well on the women's uh, bond spiel circuit. Wait's well, great, right there. We talk about the top 10 well, money winners, well, only four well. on the women's side were Canadians. So it shows you the strength of the field. They have yeah, to face bit, international. Yep, yep. Good, Poe. Very nice. Throw, Rizzy. You're just running or come up my hair, Julie? Um, pretty much ran. Okay. <laughs> Thought it was going to. It should curl a little yeah, here. Better. Caitlin yes. Laws. Please. Yes. 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 You're good. You're good. 
Nice throw, Caitlin. Nice pair. See? It's easy, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Nice pair, Caitlin. Good sweeping. It's a tricky side. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Okay. That guard isn't really a guard, no. so. No. <laughs> okay. We'll go here. Try and go back here. Sure. Okay. Back 12, back 8. Hopefully she sticks it. We can freeze to it. Okay. Okay. Giving up on the guard back 12, back uh, philosophy. Okay. Alright. Yeah, it's not so things, bad things, but I definitely think that in the middle. And she's okay. uh, got it thought of too. Last she, show. <laughs> she's thinking, they, well, if I hit, then they'll freeze. And, yeah. There's, yeah. A, there's <laughs> no secret to this no. stage. To the back edge of the eight foot. Good. Next yeah. week. Thanks. Thanks. I'm feeling I don't know Yeah, then we can decide. Okay. They've invested time too, Sherry Madon, this, is this team. Nice there. Yeah. Four years of work. You guys like peeling or sticking? To get here. Yeah, like peeling? Okay. For most curlers, it's a full-time kind of job in addition to a like full-time job. If you think about yeah. the yeah. mental preparation, physical preparation, sure. yeah. trying to get together as a team to work out your plans, and then, of course, the training on ice and the bond spiels. It's sure a huge commitment. Shot. In the ice? Right there. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, I just didn't remember seeing it there before. And a second really committee really well. meeting here on deciding what to do here. They're, Caitlin and Jennifer talked about rolling out, and I think they've stayed with that option. Oh, yeah. Yep. Gotta go. Right to it. Hard. Right to it. Gotta go. Hard. Right to it. You're McEwen good. and That's Officer, as they've done so many times. I'm also impressed with Jennifer. I said emotion could play a part of this being in front of the big crowd, but they have been all business. They've been very cool and professional in the way they've moved up and down the ice and discussed shots. Really an impressive performance all around. And even if you just looked at her face right there, she was still in this moment, in this game, wondering about one more shot. What will Sherry Madon do? And the, uh, yeah. Proud, up three with, we're knowledgeable, I know. appreciative. Yeah. Okay. Applauding as <laughs> Sherry Madaw plays her last here in nine. And what may very well be her last of this trial. Same, seven, eight. Whoa. Running a bit. Running. Really? It's it's okay. Watch it at the end here. Should die. Take it as far as you can, if you can. Oh, easy, easy. We're yeah, make it curl. We're okay. Yep, 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 yep. Interesting. Yep, yep, yep. This is a familiar Great spot shot. from this afternoon, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Jennifer wants to talk yeah. about whether she would take a point in this situation on. or oh, throw okay. the blank. I call the time. I call it. That's why they're having the chat. I try to blank it. So, like and it comes up, it comes up. I don't know. I just thought we might as well decide. Yeah. Do you, like you guys want to take one or do you want to peel it out? I thought about the peel first. But. Yeah? And just four, yeah. four up is like... Yeah, that's pretty good too. Three up with is pretty good too, but four up is pretty good. Both great but, yeah, I do too. Do you guys care? Janet Arnott. No, I just assumed that we'd peel, but... Uh, ...has been coaching... Well, I just well, I don't want to get the wrong way. You know, like, the she field, gave up her kinda, playing time after a couple of Scotty's wins with. I'll just throw firm. Connie Lalaberti. Do you like sticking it or do you like peeling it? I like peeling it. Yeah. Well, why? What do you like? That's. 
Huh? Well, f four up is pretty good. I know. I don't disagree, but three up having, is pretty good too. Yeah, it's I just, pretty nice with lots. Yeah. Like, okay. I'll throw firm, and if we make it, we make it. Okay. okay. Make her go, Jen. It really doesn't matter in a long run. The one thing when you get to throw first, you do get two guards that cannot be peeled. They can be tipped. Mm -hmm. If you have the hammer, if you're Sherry Madal, you want to get one corner guard before the peeling can occur. So right. when it's this many points ahead, I, I agree that it's I not a big I just don't want to take too much ice, I think really good. I disagreed with Janet as she said both situations are pretty good. Both situations are really <laughs> <Very> good. Very <laughs> good. I would take either. Got it. I think I might take cleaning. the hit yeah. and stick. And stuff over here. You like that extra yes, spread like the, on the scoreboard? I like the four, mm -hmm. and that might just get a response from your uh, opponent. McEwen, right to it. We're looking for the blank. Uh, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. And they're going to take the single. And behind them, Sherry Madaw is talking with Joanne Rizzo. The Merklinger comes over. They're going to go one more. Oh, I think we tried it. Yeah, she's going to. Eight four. Jones leads it. It's now time for today's secret word. The secret word is wide. Go to finalend.ca and enter this word for your chance to win. The 2013 Tim Hortons Roar of the Rings is brought to you by Tim Hortons. Always fresh, always great tasting coffee. flowers, the bouquets that will be presented when this game is over. So we welcome you back. Great crowd on hand here at the MTS. Good news for Jets fans. They won tonight. Finish up their road trip 2-1 win in Tampa. So they finish their six game road trip 4-2. and two. They'll be home Tuesday. Play St. Louis. Stones going through of course by Team Jones. They're up by four. They're at the bumper already. And Madaw has one corner up and is going to try and place another Whoa, with Lee Armstrong. Won't check up like that side. A little bit deeper than they'd like it here, and the double might be on. But okay. You probably won't see uh, Jill, who's good at them, try it because of the score. Make one go away. And you got it, Jill. And with the throw throughs, you have nothing in the okay. house you have to worry about, so you can peel okay. from the outside, makes it a little easier. Whoa. Whoa. Clean, clean, clean. Easy, Just clean. Easy, 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 easy. Good, Jilly. Got a girl. Good. Very difficult situation to say the least for Madaw. Does have the last rock playing the yellow stones, but time and stones are running out. Lemur. So one. Even with this one. Mine's good. Take a look. Take a look, please. Yeah, it's really gliding. Whoa, 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 we're good. Whoa, whoa. Okay, that's good. Nicely done. Square your body up here. Same routine, but don't overthrow it. It's so easy to want to throw it a little extra hard because you hit it thick. Those oh, athletes that are able to step up in whatever please. big game they play, and the uh, chill officer has done that. 
And she's been terrific, but I'm really impressed too with the focus, as we keep saying. It's uh, so easy to let your mind go ahead and think about what could be. I make this peel, then we win. But there is no sense no. of that with this team. They are totally focused on the one shot at a time routine. Chance you have yeah. to have a lot of rocks end up behind the guard on this side. Oh, and out the, other side. the person oh, I really know we, that did that no, was uh, the other side. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Howard found a way to get mistakes on that guard. We get away with that once. Uh, sorry. Good summer. Yeah, you can't worry about a run back here. That would be the only danger. Just, just hit a quarter rock, half a rock, get it out of play. Clean, 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 clean. Hi, girl. Great pair, Jill. Thanks, Lily. Mom and Dad watching. You look like you tried to. Hmm? You look like you were kind of. Yeah. Trying to make sure that you weren't. The MTS two. sensing the moment is dear and okay. waiting to bust Mine's loose. Good. Mine's good. Fine. Read up. Go hard. Line's good. Okay, that's fine, got. guys. That's Where's fine. Yep. No, we're good. Yep. We're good. That's good. Hit this either way, might as well play the same shot you just threw it. Rachel Holman, the reigning Canadian champions. Will be part of the closing ceremony as they receive their bronze medals. Caitlin Laws peels off the guard, and now they all have to count somehow for Sherry Madaw. one she knows the best. Peyton Laws with a little pat on the nice back stop. as Jennifer Jones will make her way down the ice. Make it go away. Go. Just like a nine-ish, you know? Yep. Still in the Make moment. Sure you keep this clean. Yeah. Let's go. Caitlin Laws with Let's the brush it. down. Just watch the routine. It will not change. The crowd's probably going to get really loud, you guys, so. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Always aware. Always into the game. Got it. Preparation. Come down to this shot. It's Jennifer Jones' moment. <laughs> Come 
Carroll. Dad, Larry. Canada, meet your Olympic women's curling team. I read an article, Cheryl Bernard, Linda, saying that she'll be home watching this and she's probably going to shed a tear as they are now because this moment is something they will never forget. And disappointment, obviously, tears from Sherry Madaw as well. Congratulations, Jennifer Jones will represent our country in Sochi. The arm show up from Caitlin Laws as Jennifer Jones makes the final takeout. They are Olympians. Jennifer Jones is with Brian. Jen, congratulations. I know you've represented Canada before, but now you're going to Olympics. Your dream come true. It is. And we did it at home, and the girls played so good, and I, it's the best game, it's the best moment of our curling career, for sure. Tell me about this entire week. How were you guys so dominant all week long? We had a great plan, and, and we were, we just enjoyed the moment, and, and we worked our butts off, and we were playing as well as we've ever played coming in, and it continued, and the girls just played outstanding today. I don't want to take a while to sink in, but you are now Team Canada. Take us to Russia. How excited are you? Oh, we can't, we can't wait. Um, we're Olympians. We're going to be Olympians, and that's something you've dreamed of since you're a little kid. And a dream's just come true for us today. And we did it in our home city with all these amazing fans, and we can't wait to get to Sochi. Good luck. Enjoy the moment, and all the best in Russia. Thanks so much. Four years of preparation fulfilled with a win here at the Tim Hortons Roar of the Rings, the Canadian Curling Trials. McEwen, Jill Officer, Caitlin Laws, and Jennifer Jones. One of the most impressive performances by a whole team in a final. 92% as a team. Jill Officer, 99%. Best team today. Best team all week. Best team all year. And to think, you know, four years ago at the trials, she went two and five, never made the playoffs. <laughs> Can we take these off? Hey, everyone. So, what is it? I think you really need to turn around. There's something you really should be wearing right about now. And I'd like to ask upon Hugh Emery, Chair of the CCA Board of Governors, to present medals to our bronze medal team, Mitch Tarapaski, a host chair, will present keep awards to each athlete and coach to Team Holman. Starting off with their coach, Earl Morris. Familiar Heather Smith, four-time 
Nova Scotia champion who was brought on as a fifth player as they look for that little bit of experience. To lead, Lisa Wiggle. The reigning Canadian women's champions falling just a little short, Her losing in the semifinal, Allison but of course we will see them as Team Canada. When we get to Montreal, the Maurice Her Richard third, Arena and the Scotties. And the Hearts. Rachel Holland. Goes without saying, Linda, we'll see them again. They're, We're now in they're too good and so Sandville. young. Please present medals to the silver medal team. CCA board liaison, Cindy Manick, will present keeper awards to Team Mada. <laughs> to their coach, Bob Turcotte. <laughs> to their alternates, Glorietti. What went wrong? Rusty belief for Team Madon. Well, they were beaten by a better team today and won, but uh, yes. and Sherry mentioned it, and she was so gracious about it, as she always is. Uh, the draw in two, it was a slower spot, and they, she just kicked it a little harder, and it, when it went to the wing, it's a little straighter, and a little quicker, and 3 nothing. It was really all, it's all she wrote. Sherry Madon! As we saw with other teams on the men's side, the likes of Jeff Stoughton and Glenn Howard. You know, when you think about Jerry Madon and Joanne Rizzo, likely their last chance at this. Western Canada to present medals to the gold medal team. Minister of State, Sport, the Honorable Val Gossel will present Keeper Awards to Team Jones. The coach, Shannon Arnott. Shannon Arnott. Who coached this team to three Scotties wins? Will now try to coach them to uh, an Olympic medal. To their lead, Don McEwen. To their second, Jill Officer. What a game! What a game she had. To the third, Caitlin Laws. Canadian and world junior champion. Now goes after Jennifer Olympic Jones. gold. And Jennifer Jones. Now we call upon Trish Jordan of Monsanto to present flowers to the gold medal. Uh, and while Bal Galzo, Minister of State, presents flowers to the silver team and Doug Gunn of Tim Hortons to present to the bronze medal team. And as you look ahead to Sochi, Linda, the approach of this team, well, I guess you wouldn't change anything, although you'll scout your opposition. You know who you're going against and the likes of Secretson and Ott and Muirhead. It's never easy, though. It's Christmas. There's a break. There's a time off. Then you have to rethink in January how you're prepared for that last month. But they'll have a lot of help, and they are our most experienced team here. And they'll need to be. There's so many distractions and uh, media requests. You're pulled in nine different directions. But if anybody can handle it, it's this experienced Jones team. And that was all part of it this week as well. In, in handling the media attention here in their hometown, Ladies and gentlemen, would you please remain standing and remove your hats for the singing of our national anthem. Oh, Canada, our home and native land, true God. 
Congratulations to Jennifer Jones, Caitlin Laws, Jill Officer, Don McEwen, Kirsten Wall, and Coach Janet Arnott. The 2013 Tim Hortons Roar of the Rings is brought to you by Ford, proud partner of the Canadian Curling Association for 20 years. By Scotty's Facial Tissue, Scotty's The Perfect Touch. And by World Financial Group, creating a better tomorrow for families today. WFG. An appropriate send-off by the crowd here at the MTS Center to Jennifer Jones. So the women's spot has been filled. The men's representative will be determined Sunday afternoon, 2.30 Eastern Time. John Morris against Brad Jacobs. And we'll set it up with a half-hour pre-game show. We'll join you at 2.30. Look back at a wonderful week here in Winnipeg. Again, congratulations to Jennifer Jones and her team and to all the women's teams this week for some great curling. We wish Jennifer all the very, very best in Sochi. So until we talk with you again tomorrow, thank you for joining us. The Tim Hortons Roar of the Rings Canadian Curling Trials are here on Canada's sports leader, TSN.